Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. We are doing the weekend reward. So this is everybody's reading, all zodiac signs compiled into one that were posted during the week, but some of you may have missed them, so I figured I would put them all in one for you to watch over the weekend. It is for your week ahead, okay? So um, all of them are time stamped down below, so check it out. Feel free to skip ahead. Also feel free to cross watch um other signs don't force anything to fit okay it is they are general readings um so enjoy the videos enjoy the readings and please subscribe to my channel to enter into the 10k giveaway thanks for stopping by my channel beyond the moon i'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading all right so aries sun moon rising and venus if this does not resonate please check your other placements for messages there and feel free to cross watch all right, um, Aries, also stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, so stay tuned. All right, so Aries, I'm going to get into your overall energy, your person's overall energy, their current feelings or current energies, current um, blockages, feelings for you, potential outcome, obstacles, all that fun stuff. So stick around. So I was meditating on your energy, Aries, and I was feeling a very calm, <laughs> calm energy come over me. Um, and your first overall energy card that came out was to the sea, which is like six of swords, um, moving into calmer waters. So I feel like Aries right now, you're either moving away from something that either caused you a lot of stress or just no longer serves you anymore or just being fine with whatever it is that has happened. And I feel like you're looking forward to building blocks, starting a new beginning or looking for something that's very sturdy, um, but it is bringing you into a calmer place. So let's see, what's your person's overall energy? Aries person, what do we got? A leg up, all right, teamwork, working together helping each other out, motivating each other, lifting each other up. We have never-ending story and chaos and conflict. All right, so your person may have caused a lot of chaos and conflict in this connection here, almost like a never-ending story, false starts, false promises, actions don't match their words, things like that. Um, they could have been internally conflicted as well, but I feel like, you. wow, now, mm-hmm, they want to clean it up. There's something faded here. You or your person might be seeing signs, synchronicities, things like that going on. But let's get into their current energies. What's going on? Aries person, current energies. You guys, if I happen to cough, sneeze, or lose my voice, I'm getting over pneumonia. So I apologize. Aries, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, or this could be you um, or them feeling rejected. Did you have to leave this person behind, Aries? Did you have a family with them, possibly? Ten of Pentacles, loyalty, long-term stability. Did they turn their back on you? And turn your back on family. Yeah, if they did, now they're having regrets. Feeling of sadness, loss, regret, remorse. Feeling rejected. Or they, they rejected you. If they had a family outside of you, it's like they felt they had to reject you because of that situation. But now they're feeling a sense of sadness, loss, regret. Wow. What else for Aries and their person? Aries, Aries person, current energies. What else is going on? Also, I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little quiet. It's hard to talk loud too. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get these messages out. What else? Aries person. Ace of Cups. And the Hangs Man. Your person may have had to pull their energy back to gain some kind of clarity and perspective on new love. They may have a lot of regrets on what they did. I feel like there is a transformation that can take place here. Aries, your, your energy, you guys are always looking for what is stable. You want stability in your life and 
you don't depend on anybody for it. You make your own stability. You crave that. And I feel like this person wasn't giving that to you. And you feel like, all right, you know, I'm not getting what I need here. It's time for me to move on. Or like you really just want this to move into a calmer place. Let's see what's blocking this connection. Blockages for Aries and the person. Blockages. The Emperor, that's your energy. Two of Wands, someone needing to make a decision. Someone couldn't make a decision. Blockages, blockages. The Chariot Cancerian energy. Nine of Swords. High stress, overthinking, sleepless nights. Aries, are you blocking this because you couldn't make a decision to move things forward? Or was it stressing you out because this person couldn't? Couldn't make a decision. They couldn't boss up. They couldn't own up to, to anything here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or a water sign could have gotten in the way of this connection. Yeah. Your person could have been juggling another person. For some of you. And that's why things weren't making sense or things were chaotic. I feel like this person knows they caused a lot of chaos. Happiness was being blocked. Leo energy, Knights of Cups, Pisces. Scorpio Cancer, happiness, romance, romantic gestures, all of that was being blocked here. Because this per somebody was juggling. I feel like it was your person. You wanted a calm, fun, peaceful relationship where you can build on, have, have a foundation, stability. And I feel like this person was all over the place with their thoughts, their emotions, their actions. How do they truly feel about you, Aries? How do they truly feel? Well, they love you. They feel a deep connection with you. You could be the parent of their children, mother or father. Um, but Empress energy, they see you as loving, caring, nurturing, fertile, abundant, calm, peaceful, I know some of you are laughing, Aries, peaceful, calm, ha, 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 ha. But you are, you, you, you guys are fighters. You fight for what you want, but you also do it with love. And it could even be harsh love, harsh truth. And I feel like that, that was hard for them to handle at times, like tough love. You guys are good at the tough love. And I feel like that, that was hard for them to handle at times, but... I feel like now they they see it. They see why. They see what they've done. They see you holding back. They're holding on to you still. I, I'm almost like they're stuck to you like glue. <laughs> I'm hearing that for some reason. This person could have put you through a lot of shit. And now you're like, finally, I'm just moving on. Moving on. I don't know if they're, they're quite done yet, though. Hold on. How else do they feel? How else do they feel about Aries? The Fool, Magician. That's your energy with the Fool. Yeah, you're a wish fulfillment. They're trying to manifest you back, Aries. They may come towards you and take a leap of faith or hope that you take a leap of faith with them. You're Look at this. Nine of cups, ten of cups. You're a wish fulfillment. You're like their happy ending. Their ultimate happiness. That's how they feel about you. They could have kept you stuck in a situation and they acknowledge that. Like if they had... Children with somebody else, a wife, husband, spouse, whatever. Like a third party situation. 
Let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome for Aries. Keep in mind, you guys, everyone has free will, so the outcome can change. Yeah, there is somebody else. There is somebody else. Possibly a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. All right, there was somebody else that pulled this person away from you. This person causes a lot of burdens in your person's life, and they're but they're they're stuck to them somehow. There, it's a burden, but they're not feeling this way about them. They're feeling they're feeling. Look at this person is nothing but chaos, conflict, burdens, manipulation. They feel two of cups upright about you. With this person, they're not feeling it. They're, they're feeling stuck with this person. I feel like that person's manipulative. I feel like they're, look at, they're toxic. Manipulative. Your person's feeling left out in the cold, abandoned. And now internal conflict. I feel like they're fighting all the time with that person. It's toxic. This is what they want with you. And I feel like they want to heal it. They're going to come towards you with some kind of a romantic gesture, Aries. They want a new beginning with passion and stability. And they want to heal this. Look okay. at Truth and clarity. You have three aces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're watching you on social media. They're seeing what you're up to. Look, they, they're, they're trying to manifest this back. They want a higher level of commitment with you. They want to heal this. Ace of swords. Truth, clarity, honesty, victory. Ace of pentacles. Stability, long-term, abundant grounded ace of wands following intuition desire passion attraction chemistry that's what this person feels with you they know they need to walk away from something else they know they need to walk away from something else all right let's get into obstacles what's the biggest obstacle aries is going to have to overcome we'll get into that right after this quick thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading it is not over i just wanted to make a real quick announcement i am doing a 10k subscriber giveaway a bunch of goodies are going to be given out and i'm so excited i can't wait uh one of them is an ipad air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into your obstacles. Yep, guilt. So this person holds a lot of guilt with what they did to you. Courage. Having the courage and strength to overcome this, overcome the pain, the guilt, the hurt. This person may have made you feel like you went crazy out of your damn mind. The schizophrenia. So can you forgive them? Can you overcome this? Will this person say who they really are? Will they act and say the same thing instead of giving you false hopes, false starts, manipulation, gaslighting, love bombing, that kind of a thing? Is this person going to show up right? That's the obstacle here. And do you have the strength for it as well? Um, what advice do we have for Aries? Separation. Yeah, no contact. 5D, dreams, nightmares. Focus on your own happiness while you're in separation. Home. Cozy, warm, secure. You feel at home with each other. It's a, it is like a soulmate connection, a soul bond. denial repressed emotion rejection unable to see below the surface this person could have been in denial for a long time aries you guys are good at calling out people shit 
And you probably did that a lot with this person and they were in denial on a lot of things, but now I feel like they're starting to see that you were right. Um, this may blossom in springtime. So in a couple months, this may come back around. What other messages for Aries? Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head, separation again, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future, not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. That could have also been what this person did, just had severe insecurity issues. They're looking at old memories, pictures, photographs of you guys together all right what would they like to say if they could what would your person like to say to you Aries if they could I'm coming to you with an offer will you say yes when I offer you my hand will you take it wow they really want you back <laughs> I worry that you've moved on and it's all in my head is it do you still think about me channel beyond the moon i'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading all right so taurus sun moon rising and venus if this does not resonate please check your other placements for messages there feel free to cross watch but don't force anything to fit okay it is a general reading um so taurus um i'm doing a 10k giveaway stay tuned till the end for details on that um so stick around also i'm going to be doing your overall energy your person's overall energy current energies blockages how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles, advice. So stick around, Taurus. All right, so what do we got here? Mm. So your overall energy, Taurus, <laughs> if you've been following me or subscribed to my channel and have been watching the last few weeks, time to go. And then you have Imagine. So I feel like you're either doing a lot of inner reflecting or looking at the big picture of things, changing your perspective, trying to get some clarity, following your intuition, really trying to like go within and see what what it is you need to do. But I feel like you have a sense like it's time to go, time to call it quits. Um, your person has time for a nap and exchanging gifts. So I feel like your person is looking at this as like a temporary situation. All right. Um, it's just a nap, you know, it's not a complete separation. It's not permanent. I feel like they're looking at it like a break because then we have exchanging gifts. So I feel like your person really is in the energy of like, all right, Taurus is going to come back to me. This is just temporary. Um, this is meant to be all right. Underlying energy we have between worlds and then we have never ending story. So I feel like this has been like cycles false starts, you know, things haven't changed, starting up, nothing changed, same old, same old, you know. Um, so I feel like you've just had enough, Taurus. Whoever this person is, they're relentless. They're, they're not, they don't give up here. <laughs> Let's get into their current energies and see what's going on. What is going on with Taurus's person, current energies? We have two of wands. So they've made a decision here. Okay, Eight of Swords. They were feeling stuck. I feel like either they were feeling stuck, trapped, bound to you, or there was something that they weren't seeing clearly. <sighs> All right, Eight of Cups and then Strength, Leo Energy. I feel like your person's trying to make the decision to break free from this connection, to release themselves and walk away. Um... They may also be acknowledging that like you felt stuck and felt it was time to walk away. But I feel like your person, like I said, in the past few weeks or month, two months even, go back and watch if this resonates. I feel like they just couldn't come to terms with this being over. And now it's like they're trying to find that strength, that courage to walk away from this as well. So if you're tired of this cycle... It might be coming to an end. Let's see. 
All right, yeah, because they're feeling rejected. Four of Cups, they're watching you, though, Page of Swords. There could be a, an age difference between the two of you or a very minimal or almost immature communication. When I say immature, I'm just saying, like, very short um, or, like, a quick argument or disagreement or, you know, something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like text messages that are kind of like bickering. Um, so I feel like that kind of communication is going on. Your person's feeling very rejected. So the wheel here. They want things to move forward in their life. I feel like they want things to move forward with you. But I feel like they're just starting to finally come to terms that things may not move forward. Also, Taurus, keep in mind the energies can be reversed. So when I say your person, it could be your energy and vice versa, okay? Um, but let's see, blockages. Blockages for Taurus and their person. What's blocking this connection? Nine of Wands. There you are, King of Pentacles. You're, you're <laughs> Taurus, your walls are up, like up, up, hard up. I feel like you have no fight left in you. I feel like you're tired of the, the disputes, disagreements, the conflict, the chaos, mentally, you know, conflicted, mentally going out of your mind over this. This person, I feel, challenges you emotionally and mentally. They, they know how to pull at your heartstrings. They know how to get in your head. Ah. And I feel like you you are standing your ground, though. You're not fighting for this anymore. I feel like you're you're very blocked off when it comes to this person. Uh, let's see what else is blocking this. Blockages, blockages. Mm, nine of Cups. So that wish fulfillment, or for some of you, this person, there's no stability here. For some of you, they may have like... Uh, they may overindulge, drink, party, shop, spend, work, some any sex, anything in excess, okay? Anything too much, all right? And I feel like it causes a lack of strong stability in their life. And Taurus, you guys, when it comes to love, you need stability. You crave stability. That is what your energy is all about when it comes to love, especially finances too, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, you need that stable level energy, consistency. You don't like someone who's all over the place, especially with emotions. It throws you completely off balance. All right, what else? Blockages. The Empress, Taurus energy. All right, it could be uh, someone that you have children with, male or female, doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot, okay? Um, so for some of you, it could be someone you have children with. It could be a parent, a mother-father figure, um, or it could be another Taurus, or it could be you. But I feel like this person is a little bit manipulative. They know how to manipulate you. They know how to pull at your heartstrings. They know how to get you in your head, in your feels. They know how to do it. And that's why this person has it, it, it hasn't fully come to a complete end yet. See, how do they feel about you? There's definitely like lies or sneaky behavior, manipulation. Ten of Wands. All right. So they feel like either they caused a complete burden for you or they know that they, they just acknowledge that there's a burden here and that you're at the end, like you're at wit's end with this. All right, what else? How else do they feel about Taurus? Death, scorpionic energy, seven of pentacles. All right, so they see you, Taurus, transforming and planting seeds. You're focusing on yourself, which has been a highlight for you guys. You're really focusing on yourself, your self-worth, your career, your finances, your own stability. And they see you putting this burden down and transforming your life. Moving on to calmer waters. Going after your... Yeah, wow. All right. They see you going after your goals. However... How they feel is 
We have three of pentacles, six of swords, ace of cups, ace of wands. So this person is very attracted to you. They feel that chemistry, that, that magnetic bond. Um, they definitely love you and care about you. They want things to move on to calmer waters here. Um, and I feel like they feel such a soul, like soul bond with you. They want to bring those fantasies and dreams and um, the craving for you into the 3D. I feel like they want to like, you know, be tangible, like touch you, feel you, squeeze you, kiss you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like instead of just thinking about it, thinking about it, they want to actually make it a reality here. Um, they also want to be a team, collaborate together, be on the same page, work together. Ooh. There's a, they want a new beginning with you, and they want a transformation. It's like they're saying, like, Taurus, let's put down this burden. Let's transform. Let's, let's plant some seeds. Let's have this new beginning. Let's work as a team. We'll move this into calmer waters. I feel like that's what your person's trying to say here. But on, on the same note, they see you doing your own thing and... and Chasing your dreams and your goals and transforming your life yourself. Let's see. What's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome. All right. The devil, Capricorn, energy, nine of cups. There's definitely something to do with an overindulgence. Drinking, sex, partying, working, whatever that is. Whatever that is to you guys. Um, this you or this person, I feel like it's your person. Uh, they feel this strong, strong bond. But there's temptation, like, I keep think, feeling like drinking or smoking or partying or something like that, because these two cards together, it's usually what that means. And again, here's that, that transformation, death card, scorpionic energy. This person wants to transform that. They want to. So that never-ending story, whatever this is, it could even be jealousy, toxic behavior, accusations, whatever that is to you, all right? They really do want to transform this and move into calmer waters, but they have to find the strength within themselves. So basically, potential outcome here is if they don't find that strength within themselves to make changes or get help or seek therapy or or just change habits, then it's not going to transform. It's going to stay the same. And you're going to walk away. To your own happiness that you're manifesting. Yeah. I feel like Taurus, yeah. If, if they don't smarten up soon, quick, soon, I mean, it's not always quick, but at least the effort, <laughs> you're going to just block them, ghost them, and you're focusing, you're walking away to your Ten of Cups, to your ultimate happiness, to your manifestations. You're, yeah. For some of you, this person might change. For others of you, I mean, you got to use your own discernment here. They're not letting go yet. So if you want it to work, they can, you know, so to speak. All right, let's see. What's the biggest obstacle Taurus is going to have to overcome in this connection? Biggest obstacle. We'll get into that right after this quick message. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into this. Reading. Obstacles, obstacles. What's the biggest obstacle? Yeah, mind fuckery. <laughs> mind games, overcoming this person playing head games with you. Because I feel like they are yep, conditioning. See, overcoming either this person's conditioning, which is causing them to have these toxic traits, 
or overcoming any conditioning that they let on to you. Almost like in a controlling, narcissistic, manipulative way. All right. For some of you, I feel like getting over that and seeing things clearly is your biggest obstacle here. All right. Uh, let's see. What advice do we have for Taurus? Advice or clarification? Receive. Open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive. Yeah, you're manifesting, Taurus. You are. You're really, really self-focused here. I feel like this person, like, they're still lingering around your energy, but you're almost, like, back-burnering it. You know what I mean? Like... Not letting them get to you anymore. Travel, movement, meeting, adventure. Be ready for new experiences. You have some fun stuff coming up here. Ego, ah, pride, jealousy, self-preservation, walls. Let your guard down. I feel like you have your walls up, but with new people, it's okay. You gotta, you gotta let them down a little bit. But I feel like this person definitely was showing some jealousy or possessive type behavior when it came to this connection and that's what made it unhealthy offer yeah chaser see they're chasing they feel alone which is also why you probably feel bad all right but i feel like they're chasing you we have offer gesture engagement wedding rejoice in your union so you may have someone new coming towards you um, I feel like when it comes to this person and cross watcher, please don't take this personal for some of you. And it doesn't even have to be all of you. Some of you were just settling or uh, having an, an insecurity or your person has an insecurity and lack of faith here. All right. And you just want home. You want to feel comfortable in a relationship. You don't want to feel like you have to keep proving yourself or deal with toxicity stuff, you know. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. For some of you, you guys are married to this person. All right. For others of you, I feel like you have somebody new coming towards you that's going to give you that ultimate happiness, that Ten of Cups. Could be a Gemini, it could be a Virgo, it could be a Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn. It could be any sign. All right. Girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled boundaries. Girl or boy with a snake, whatever. Yeah, this person was constantly testing your boundaries, trying to charm you, empath, narcissist, paradigm. They were, they knew how to play the game. Not well, though, because they they have their own issues to deal with, but you saw through it. Uh, boat, receiving what you need, prog uh, progress, arriving, moving on from closure issues. So, yep, you're going to be moving on. The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, force, honor, protection, power. And look, self-indulgence, finding your self-worth. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to you if they could, Taurus? What would they like to say if they could? I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. Yeah. Narcissist, right? I knew you were right, but couldn't admit it to myself or you. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You knew the truth about me. I just said that. See, you saw through this person. You saw through them. Taurus, that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe. You know, Beyond the Moon, I'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. So... Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there and feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay, it is a general reading, you guys. Um, so Gemini, stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, so stay tuned. All right, we're gonna get into your overall energy and then your person's overall energy. See what's going on. You have why and poised. So I feel like, Gemini, there's something here either that you found out that's making you feel kind of like, like 
you can breathe, like <laughs> you shed some weight here, some pressure, some stress, um, or you're really trying to find something out in order for that to happen, um, to make you kind of feel relieved. Um, and this might be why <laughs> your person has mending and soulmates. So you could have just gotten a message or some news or found something out that maybe your person, a soulmate connection, wants to reconnect, reconcile. Bottom of the deck, underlying energy, we have new life. So there could be a new start here for you. I feel like it's a welcomed new start, but let's get in and see your person's current energies. Gemini's person's current energies. What's going on? Yeah. Scorpionic energy with the death card transformation and two of swords. I feel like your person wants something to change, wants a transformation. There could have been an ending here and now they want a new beginning, but they want to do it differently. They don't want to fall into the same patterns. It's kind of like a fresh start, but I feel like they're really trying to use logic over emotions when it comes to this. And we have the Emperor Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Gemini, or uh, this person could be a boss, owner, CEO, entrepreneur, or something like that. But I feel like they really want to take action and take control here because the Ten of Cups is where they're trying to head. It's what they see, what they vision, what they feel. Um, so Ten of Cups is that ultimate happiness to the end. I feel like if you guys had arguments, disputes, things like that, your person kind of wants to change that and, and have a happy um, connection or relationship here. You could have worked with this person as well or met at work for some of you. Let's see, Gemini. Gemini's person, what's going on? Current energies, please. They're willing to fight for this. Nine of Wands. They're willing to fight for this. They may have their walls up, guard up, something like that, but I feel like they're really, they're ready to boss up to this connection. They want to mend this. I feel like now that they've had time away or time to think, it's starting to make sense. There could have been a painful ending between the two of you, or at least that could be how one of you feels here, that there was some kind of painful ending. Maybe there was betrayal, backstabbing, cheating, whatever, all right? But something painful that came to an end or, or brought this to an end. Let's see, what's blocking this connection for Gemini blockages? King of Cups could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or there could have been a water sign that possibly got in the way of this, or there could have been jealousy, possessiveness, um, bursts of emotions, not not good because it's in a blockage okay seven of pentacles and ten of pentacles are in the reverse so there could have been a family situation or loyalty wasn't present here in this connection or got in the way um, and seven of pentacles it's like you guys weren't able to plant seeds together and water nurture and care for them to get them to grow so it's almost like i'm also getting maybe some of you rushed into this relationship and it kind of didn't have that that time to build a found a solid foundation for yourselves it didn't grow it didn't mature naturally it, I feel like it was kind of maybe rushed or, or quick moving um, for some of you but let's see some of you could even be disagreeing about marriage or kids or something like one wants them, one doesn't for some of you. Um, two of Cups and Seven of Cups also as a blockage. A lot of confusion going on. Is this person meant for me? Are they not meant for me? Um, if there was a third party situation, there could have been confusion on who is it that I'm meant to be with? Am I meant to be with my Gemini or am I meant to be with this other person and vice versa? Gemini, keep in mind, when I say your person's energy, it could be yours, all right? It is general reading, you guys, so it can be flip-flop, reversed, whatever. Um, so place it where you see fit. But I feel like this person didn't see what this connection was 
and it either caused confusion or kept them to leave their options open. <clears throat> yeah, and someone felt rejected or not good enough here. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Gem? How do they truly feel about you? How do they truly feel? Well, they might be waiting for you. If you're in another connection, they could be waiting for you to get single. But let's see. Two of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yeah. Cancer energy. They could feel like you're juggling whether or not to move forward. You could be stuck like here and now in the middle. Like, I don't know if I want to go back to my past. I don't know if I want to just keep moving forward. So I feel like there's confusion with you as well on what to do, which could be why you're, you're going within and asking questions like why, why did this happen? Was there a lesson here? Uh, why did this person have to hurt me? Why did this other person have to get involved? Why? Like you're asking the whys to try and figure this out. Um, your person may feel like you're moving on or moving away from them. What else? How else do they feel about Gemini? How else do they feel about you, Gem? <laughs> well, they could be feeling stuck on how to move forward. Wow. Wow. I feel like they're feeling stuck right now on how to move forward towards you, how to approach you. I feel like they do want to come rushing in. But that's what happened before, like that caused chaos. This person could have been wishy-washy, um, in and out, actions don't match their words, that kind of a thing. And they maybe they acknowledge or realize that it kept you stuck. But how they feel about you, they want a new beginning and they want stability. There's a big emphasis with this. And I felt it from the beginning of this. There's something about stability here. Um, and I feel like there wasn't any to begin with. Maybe you guys started off in a weird situation or a complicated situation or a situation ship or something. And, you know, it, it kind of crumbled and fell apart. But I feel like this person wants to level up with you. They want next level of commitment with you and long-term stability. Four of Wands is the 1111 Make-A-Wish Twin Flame Soulmate card also leveling up in life or in a relationship or even a move, moving houses or moving in together or something here. A reason to celebrate. They see you as stable, Gem, and I feel like they want that solid stability with you. Yeah, they see you as very independent, attractive, does, does your own. You can handle your own. You take care of shit. The high priest, higher level of commitment, marriage even. All right. I feel like they're trying to manifest this with you, Gemini. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or an Aries. But look, they're ready. They're ready to take this leap of faith with that fool card here. When it comes to you, they want long term because this is how they're feeling right now. And you could be saying, OK, lady, like they broke my heart, so they have no right to feel heartbroken because they're the ones that did this and caused this. Yeah. However, I feel like they do want to fix this. They do look at they want to reconcile. Let's see, though. Potential outcome. What's the potential outcome here for Gemini? Keep in mind, Gems, everyone has free will, so you could change your mind, they could change their mind, and it could um, alter the way that this turns out. So let's see. Five of Pentacles in reverse, so not feeling abandoned or left out in the cold, left hanging anymore. Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, overthinking, high anxiety stressed out look this person wants to walk away from feeling abandoned 
this sleepless nights, overthinking, overanalyzing, crying, stressed out. They want to walk away from all of that because they want a higher level of commitment. And I feel like the potential for that is here. See, somebody needs to make a decision. And I feel like it's you, Gemini. Again, it can be reversed, but I feel like, Gemini, you need to make a decision. This person is going to offer you long-term stability. You, you may not, though. You may not take it, Gemini. Some of you may reject this person. Some of you have, if you're dealing with an Aries, even a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, I feel like, or Capricorn, you may actually reject them. However, you may, for some of you, for others of you, you may reject this person because you have a fire sign coming towards you. And that might cause some conflict here within. And that could also be why you're asking yourself why. Why is this person coming back now? I met somebody new. Like, why are you putting me in this position? You know, Pisces energy. I feel like they're, you're, you're moving towards romance. You're moving towards who's going to make you feel good about you. And you, you're done with toxicity, you're done with being hurt, you're done with being treated like garbage, like you're just done. You want to be respected, appreciated. And I feel like if someone doesn't treat you that way, you're, you're not going to let them. I'm also sensing, you guys, this person is going to keep trying. They might come to you with some kind of romantic gesture. You may reject it. They may try again and try again and try again. I feel like they're they're realizing they goofed. Yeah, there could be something about divine timing here. You may have blocked them or cut off communication with them. They could be trying to get creative on how to communicate with you. I don't know, you're going to have to let me know in the comments. I see two different potentials here. Yes, you're going to take them back or you've moved on and met somebody new and they're going to keep trying. And then that's where you're going to have to make a big decision. Excuse me. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacles Gemini is going to have to overcome. Biggest obstacles. We'll get into that right after this. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into Gemini it. obstacles. We have the lovers, a choice in love. And this is your energy here. We have totality and trust. Can you trust that this is going to work out? Can you trust this person again? Is that even feasible? Is that going to be able to happen? We have the rebel and the creator. So I do feel like this is a soul mate here. And I feel like you're, there was a lesson, plain and simple. There was a lesson to learn here. And I feel like maybe overcoming being a little bit of a rebel here, or going against what the universe is trying to present to you or give to you. Um, Maybe try to go within a little bit and follow your true instincts and not the ego um, on what this connection really is and what the universe is trying to do. Because again, I, I saw something to do with divine timing or your angels and guides trying to get this through. We all come here with a pre-birth plan. So is this part of it? You know, that's the joy in life, the unknown and making the right decisions. So uh, you're going to have to use your own discernment, but those are things that you're going to have to overcome. All right. Um, basically, just have trust and faith in the universe, in your intuition. 
All right. Confidence with that. All right. What else? What else? What else? We have cycles, momentum, force, life cycles. Stay grounded in the now. Alone, abandoned, lonely, lost. The divine is with you. Fertility, fresh ideas, manifest growth, plant your seeds. So start planting your seeds on what it is you really want to manifest so that it comes to you. Settling, scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith. Believe that you deserve the best. So some of you could be battling inside of going back to this person, but would it be settling? Would it be settling? See, soulmates aren't always here to stay. They come in and out of our lives. They can be parents, friends, siblings, work co-workers. Like it could be anybody. It doesn't have to be a love connection and they don't always stay long term because there's a lesson or a reason. All right. So you could feel like if you go back, you're just going to be settling. But if you're feeling alone right now and they present that to you, that there's that temptation there, you know. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun, and the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So your person could have been a runner and it left you confused and alone. That's why there was no stable grounds here, camera. Yeah, they're reminiscing, looking back at old pictures here. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to Gemini if they could? What would they like to say to Gemini if they could? What would they like to say? Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Is it too late to apologize, Gemini? I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. Yeah, see, being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before, but now I know it's true. See, they, they want to reconcile this, Gemini. They want to start a new life with you, fresh start. Can you forgive them fully? Will you, will you mend this with them? That's what you're going to have to ask yourself, you know, the whys. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you this week. Please. Hi, Cancer. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I'm doing a peek at your person, love tarot reading. All right, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. But don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading, you guys. And also, Cancer, I have a fun, exciting announcement at the end of this video regarding a 10K giveaway, so stick around. All right, so Cancer, I'm going to go into your overall energy, your person's overall energy, current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles to overcome, and all that fun stuff. So stick around till the end. All right, so Cancer, we have here and now and to the sea. So I feel like right now you're feeling very stuck. Um, don't know if you should go backwards or forwards. What do I do? Right? There is an egg here that does represent a new beginning or something fertile or abundant. There is a door there too. So I feel like you have an opportunity to make some kind of a move, but you just don't know what to do yet because underlying energy you're really looking for something that's long-term, stable, a foundation to build on. And we have to the sea. So you want things to move into calmer waters. You, you're tired of feeling stuck, stagnant, things not moving. All right. Uh, your person has a change in the wind. Come to the edge, a leg up and blessed. So your person, Cancer, is looking to make some kind of change. I feel like they're ready to take some sort of leap of faith here um, because they're feeling something is blessed. I'm seeing number 22. Look up angel number 22 or 222 um, if you want for another message there. But And then a leg up. So I feel like your person's... They're willing to work as a team or they want to work as a team, all right, with this connection. I feel like you both have the same end goal in mind, but there needs to be a change, some kind of transformation to take place here. 
But let's get into it and see. Cancer, what's going on with your person? Current energies for Cancer's person. Current energies. Stuck. Keep in mind, Cancer, that I could be talking about your person's energy, but it could be yours, all right? So it could be switched, flip-flop, vice versa, all that, all right? So Eight of Swords, feeling very stuck. You both could be in that, like, stuck, stagnant energy. Yeah, there could have been some blocking going on, no contact, no communication regarding a tower moment, scorpionic energy, Virgo energy here. We have the moon, Cancer Pisces, and three of pentacles and seven of cups. All right. Tower moment here. Did things, were things hidden? Did things come to light? And now it's making you feel stuck or they feel stuck. There's something about teamwork or working together, collaborating, being on the same page. But there was something hidden, some kind of confusion or options. I'm kind of getting the feeling here, Cancer, like your person made a bad decision or chose wrong because because things were unknown. They didn't see things clearly. Or they had a tower in their life happen and they just didn't know how to handle it. They felt stuck like they had to make some kind of a decision or make some kind of move. And now it's like, I don't know, like it was, it was the wrong decision. Let me get more. Yeah, look, it just caused a burden for your person. And that's why they want to change. Let's see what's blocking this connection. Four of Cups in reverse. Feeling rejected, bored, not good enough. Oh, this person may not have felt good enough for you. Or you were too good for them or something. Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, victory about this connection. This is a soul bond. And I feel like your person didn't see that. They didn't see that when they made this, this decision. Yeah, they were holding back. Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles. They could have been giving to two or they just, there was no equal give and take. There was no reciprocity. I feel like this person was kind of one-sided looking out for like their own best interests and not protecting this connection. Sometimes in a soulmate bond, I don't know, you may have heard me say this before because I really truly believe in it. Um, sometimes in a soulmate bond, when you guys cross paths in this lifetime, one recognizes it and the other doesn't right away. So it takes time for that person to like wake up. It takes time for guides and the universe and their higher selves and all of that to wake this person up. Or sometimes they still have lessons to learn. So they're not ready like you're ready, right? You may have learned your lessons earlier and they haven't. And that's why they don't see this connection for what it truly is yet. That does happen. Yeah, things couldn't move forward here. Strength, Leo energy. Your person didn't have the confidence, the courage. They, it was like they were not seeing this clearly. Scorpio energy, transformation. I feel like that was at some point being blocked, but underlying energy here. Let's see, how does this person feel about you, Cancer? How does this person feel about you? Three of Wands, they're waiting, or they know you're waiting. This is Three of Wands for, how do they feel? <laughs> they're, they're waiting to make a move. They're waiting for the right time. Again, could be, could be an age difference here. Doesn't have to be. I feel like this person has passion and attraction and feelings for you. There's love here. There was a spark. They felt the spark, Emperor Aries energy. 
Cancer, they see you as like boss energy. They see you as like very dedicated, knowing what you want, driven, passionate, forward moving, takes action, goes, chases your dreams, goes after what you want. Um, you could be a boss, CEO, head of a company, entrepreneur, something like that. You guys could have worked together and you were like the boss. They could look at you like that or respect you like that. I feel like this person feels you have control of your life. For some of you, they may have felt like you were a little controlling for some of you. And it's just their perspective. It doesn't have to be the truth, but it's their truth. All right, what else? How else do they feel about cancer? How else does this person feel about cancer? Hmm. They're trying to make a head over heart decision. They're trying to be logical about this and think things through. Scorpionic energy, death card, transformation. There's, there's something about to change here. <sighs> Ten of Pentacles. Loyalty, long-term, foundation, stability to the end. Could be something to do with children or family. Yeah, I feel like they're willing to put in the work and effort. Yeah, see, now they're feeling a sense of sadness, loss, regret, remorse when it comes to this, when it comes to you. They may feel like they've lost you and they want to transform this. I feel like this person wants long term with you, Cancer. Let's see, what's the potential outcome? Knight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. They might come rushing towards you to reignite that spark, that passion. We have five of swords. I feel like there's still inner conflict going on. Eight of Pentacles, they're willing to put in the work and effort. They're waiting. What are they waiting for? Why is there waiting? So much waiting. Are they waiting for like time to pass? Like time heals all wounds? Nope, just got it. Divine timing. That's what this is. I feel like that comes up for you guys a lot. Sagittarius energy with temperance and three of wands waiting. Divine timing, going with the flow, having patience. There's conflict on... Do I reach out to my cancer? Do I communicate? Do I say anything or do I stay silent and keep my head down and keep focusing on me? Or do I rush towards cancer? I feel like they're in like a contemplative mode right now on what to do. Yeah, more waiting, waiting. I feel like your person is forever waiting, cancer. And all your readings. Divine timing and waiting. Two of Pentacles. The Empress and Six of Swords. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy here. We now have the Emperor and the Empress here. That's divine counterparts. That's forever that's marriage that's a, a pure genuine couple it's abundant it's fertile it's stable and six of swords moving on to calmer waters You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a water sign. Or that could be you, and this could be your person. Doesn't matter the signs, you guys. It could be anyone. It is a general reading. But I feel like there's going to be collaboration, teamwork, being on the same page, turning those thoughts, visions, goals, um, dreams, all of that into reality. You guys could be communicating in the 5D your higher selves. 
I feel like there is going to be emotional stabi stability and just stability of long-term relationship. I feel like you guys get each other. You understand each other's needs and who each other are, like, to the core. Huh. Wow. Use your own discernment, you guys. You, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I do feel like there's something about divine timing. There could be a pregnancy for some of you on the horizon. Just pointing that out. Wow. All right. So let's see. Biggest obstacle for cancer. What's the biggest obstacle for cancer to overcome? We'll get into that right after this. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back let's into your cancer patience and the, the creator, the divine. Yeah. Patience. It's going to be a little bit longer. It's going to be a little bit longer having patience. You got to you got to trust in the divine. You got to trust in divine timing and just embrace this nothingness right now. Focus on yourself, focus on your career, your home life, your children, whatever. You focus on you for now. While this is coming together for you. Transformation, yeah. Breakthrough, reinvention. You're ready for the next level and appreciate. Your twin appreciates you. See the blessings. Practice appreciation. See, they're coming. There's going to be a change here. There's going to be a transformation. They're coming towards you. All right, what else? Solitude, retreat, introspection, introspection silence. Go deep within yourself. Embrace the nothingness right now. You you got to do that. It could even be if you're like divine timing my ass. I've been waiting forever. This actually might be something about you and not them. They might actually be sitting here waiting to take this leap of faith subconsciously. But there might be something you have to learn. You need to go within. You need to reflect. There, it, This could be about you. And something you have to do in order for divine timing to happen. All right? Karmic partner. Conventional relationship duty bound by societal conventions. There could be a lesson here. Just saying. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Start thinking like about your future and how you see your future. And for you, though, solo, like your happiness, your career, your endeavors, your friendships, your, you know, try switching up the way you think about things that could help clock need time takes time, time and cycles, time to heal progress. Yeah, clock time, divine timing. <laughs> that, that's it. That's that's all there is to it for you guys. Sorry, Cancer. All right, what would this person like to say to you? I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. I've committed to someone else, but they don't challenge me. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. Yeah, they felt awesome when they were around you, but they didn't see the bond, the soul connection. Or they had... A journey or a lesson or you did all right by my channel beyond the moon i am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading so leo sun moon rising and venus if this does not resonate please check your other placements for messages there and feel free to cross watch but don't force anything to fit okay it is a general reading um leo stick around till the end i have a fun exciting announcement to make so stay tuned all right 
I was meditating on your energy, uh, Leo, and I was getting a sense of like somebody or a setting or something like that. You are like in the spotlight or getting a lot of attention or got somebody's attention. All right. So um, I feel like you're grabbing the attention of some people here. Um, let's see what comes out. Your overall energy. Um, I'm going to do your overall energy, your person's overall energy, their current energies, how they feel about you, blockages, potential outcome, all that fun stuff. So yeah. Yeah, you're shining bright. Um, you also have not for you. So poised and not for you. I feel like you possibly are realizing people, places, or things that just aren't for you anymore. And you're really going after what it is that you want. There could be somebody um, that makes you feel very good about yourself or sees you for you or holds you in high regard. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention here in a positive way. Uh, let's see your person's overall energy. Leo's person's overall energy. What's going on? We have flexible and orphans. <laughs> Did you walk away from someone, Leo? Abandon, leave them out in the cold. I feel like they're trying to be flexible. They want a new beginning with you, but I don't know. I feel like you may have your eye on somebody else or someone else has their eye on you, or you're just feeling really confident right now and good about yourself. But let's get into it. Leo's person, what's going on? Current energies, Leo's person. Four of Cups. They're feeling rejected. Did you, did you turn someone down who really, 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 really liked you? What's going on here? Queen of Wands in reverse. That's Aries, Leo, Sag, but Aries predominant. We have Four of uh, Cups, Six of Wands, the High Priest, and then Aries in reverse. Man... You may be getting a lot of offers from people. You, you're you're in you're in the spotlight. You may have a lot of options, and you're rejecting or turning down people, or you you just left a, a situation, possibly a higher level of commitment. You had to walk away from. You just felt like it was no longer for you. This person may have had like no drive, no motivation, no leadership, no take action. Like you may have felt like you had to do everything for this person. You had to plan everything. You you had to do it all. And they weren't matching your energy. The high priest, Pisces, Scorpionic energy. Your person could have been keeping secrets that you found out for some of you. Ace of Wands. There's chemistry. There's passion. There's attraction. They could have been in a higher level of commitment with somebody else and put you in a third party situation for some of you and you felt you had to walk away from it. They couldn't give you the attention that you deserved, in, you know, in a third party situation. But let's see what was blocking this connection. Is blocking this connection. The Tower, Five of Pentacles, feeling abandoned, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Were you dealing with an Earth sign or did an Earth sign get in between this? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Tower, Scorpionic Energy, Five of Pentacles. Your person's feeling very abandoned or left out in the cold or left hanging. There's some kind of a tower moment, a sudden shocking news, sudden event, change. Things came crumbling down. Did you find out this person was married or were you married? I feel like there was something to do with like a marriage or a higher level of commitment here. What else? Blockages. Hangs man and Leo energy. 
So now we have the King and Queen of Wands on the board. That's usually a, a, a couple, a divine counterpart, possibly married. Someone couldn't see things clearly. Someone wasn't seeing things clearly. Could have been manipulation, lies, deception, sneaky behavior. What is going on, Leo? Someone kept their options open. Double Aquarius energy. Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few people here. <laughs> we have all... We have all the earth, we have all the fire, we have all the air. We have some water. I think we're only missing like cancer, but we can still include it. So basically everybody's here, but predominantly we have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Aries. Pisces, Scorpio. Some Somebody had options. I feel like your person wasn't treating you the way you needed to be treated. I feel like they, they were keeping their options open or treating you as an option or something like that. And you said bye. And now they're feeling like, like you abandoned them. Let's see. How do they feel about you? Eight of Swords. They kept you stuck. They kept you stuck in something. They see you as a fighter. They see you have your walls up, guards up when it comes to them. Two of Wands making a decision for what? To follow your wishes, the chariot cancer energy. They, they see you moving on. You're you're done. You pieced out of this. You had enough. The emperor. Yeah, you're taking control back of your life. Um, you could be moving towards an Aries. Ace of Swords, Victory and Success, Virgo Energy, Knight of Pentacles. Is that Seven of Swords? Yep. Yeah. You're moving on. You're getting new love. This person put you through some shit. And I feel like, Leo, you're just, you're done. Not for you no more. You're done. You're all done. So, you have new love coming in. You have somebody, that's what I'm saying, there's there's something new. So let's get rid of this. This is done. You're done. And now they're, they're feeling left out, but they're the one that caused it. So whatever to that person. All right, what's this new love for Leo? What is this new love for Leo? Who's coming towards Leo? New love. Could be someone that you met at work. Or someone who's willing to put the work and effort into this. Yep, there's a transformation. Could be a Scorpio. Something's about to change. I feel like you're about to have like a glow up. <laughs> what is this? What's coming towards Leo? What's coming towards Leo? Oh, it's unknown. Things are going to come to light though. What is this? What's coming towards Leo in the near future? like there was one yeah you got um you may not feel it now leo but you're going through it like you're healing yourself 
I feel like you're focusing on you, your work, your career, getting it, you know. But what you don't see coming, because it's coming very slow, it's not something that's going to rush in. It's something that's progressing. Someone, I feel, has their eye on you, Leo. They, they're they taking notice of you. It could be a Virgo. could be a Cancer. could be a Taurus. could be any fixed sign. It could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Things are going to start moving forward for you. And you're going to be extremely happy. And it's going to level you up. Possibly long-term commitment. Who is this person? Who is this person? I feel like you may even have like marriage or like just strong commitment coming at you. Page of Cups. Justice, Libra Energy, Two of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Leo, you might have a Scorpio. A water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Wow. Look at Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, three Aces, and I have the Ace of Cups here. Wow, wow, wow. If you are married to this person, I see a divorce. All right, if there is a marriage involved, I do see a divorce happening, but it's going to go in your favor. It's going to make you happy. For those of you that are or have assets or children or anything like that, that's going to go in your favor. And you're going to get somebody who's been watching you or paying attention or taking notice, make a small offer, but it's going to turn into like, bam, one powerful ass new beginning. That is amazing. That is amazing. I feel like it could be a water sign coming towards you. This, this was a painful ending though. This was painful. But this new person, that I feel like they're going to make you feel like on top of the world. Wow. All right, what's the biggest obstacle Leo's going to have to overcome? Biggest obstacle. We'll get into that right now. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back right, into your biggest reading. obstacles, maturity. Yep. And playfulness. So remember to be playful. All right. I feel like this person that you were dealing with was very immature. Um, so I feel like you're growing into this connection you got to let it mature, though. This new, this whatever this new is that's going to come spinning on in and give you complete ultimate happiness and all new beginnings and love, stability, truth, victory, clarity, all of that. All right. I feel like start off slow. It's coming in slow. Don't rush into it. I feel it's saying make sure you give it time to grow and mature. All right. This new connection. But always remember, be playful. Don't be so serious, you know. Um, enjoy the, the funner things in life, you know. All right, let's see. Advice. What advice do we have for Leo? Advice. Journal. Write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. Healing. Yep. Self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin, home, cozy, warm, secure, you feel at home with each other. So this could be hard to separate from this person. You guys may have a lot of history. You could have been married. Um, there could be something with the home or something like that that needs to be taken care of. But focus on your self-healing, all right? Um, for some of you, you may forgive this person and, and go back to them, but... I feel most of you are pretty much done. Yeah, deception, mask, illusion, duplicity, look beyond the superficial, cycles, momentum, force, life cycles, stay grounded in the now, 
and loss, loss of self and identity. Discover your true self again. That's probably why you're shining. Because now you finally feel like I'm free. I can focus on myself. I feel good about myself. Like that kind of like a renewal energy. You got a new beginning happening here. And it's pretty powerful to say the least. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, ascending, tra transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union and wedding. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting. I'm telling you, this this new person is the one. This could lead to marriage. This could lead to wedding. Wow. Wow, Leo. All right, that is what I... Thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, love, tarot reading. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus... If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. Don't force anything to fit, okay? It is general. <laughs> All right, so Virgo, um, I have a fun, exciting announcement at the end of this video regarding a 10K giveaway, so stick around, stay tuned, all right? Watch till the end. So Virgo, I'm going to get into your overall energy, their overall energy, current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, all that fun stuff. All right, so... Virgo, your overall energy, we have chaos and conflict and between worlds. Wow, lots of arguing, disputes, disagreements, chaos. And now you're feeling kind of stuck in the middle, not knowing if you should go backwards or forwards. <laughs> right? Should I stay? Should I go? What do I do? All right. Your person has thinker and truth be told. I'm seeing a lot of fours and threes. 333 three, three and 444. Four, four. Look up angel numbers, 333444. See if there's a message there for you, all right? Um, but I feel like your person is definitely in their head, in their thoughts, maybe even coming up with a plan or just reflecting on everything. They may have a truth that they need to tell you. They could have been wearing a mask or hiding something from you. I feel like they, they want to open up. All right. They want to tell you some kind of truth or get some clarity here. Um, underlying energy. We have loyal heart and happy, happy. So I do feel like there is loyalty here. Um, I do feel like at least at some point there was happiness. Um, but let's see. Current energies for your person, Virgo. What is going on in love for Virgo's person? Current energies, please. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. You think? Sleepless nights, obsessive thoughts, overthinking, stress, anxiety. They are in their head, Virgo. Your person is definitely in their head, stressed out. All right, let's see what else. Current energy is Virgo's person. Virgo's person, current energies, please. What is going on? Please show me clearly. All right. They want to talk. Knight of Pentacles, that's you. You may want to talk. Um, we have Eight of Wands and then the High Priestess, Pisces, Scorpionic energy. Your person, it's your person. They want to talk. They have something they need to tell you. There's some kind of secret that they're holding back on or a truth they need to get out. They're stressing about it, Virgo. They are stressing about this. They are loyal, but there's something that happened. Now, keep in mind, loyal and faithful are two different things, okay? Faithful, only you. You and that person, that's it. Nobody else. No cheating, no third-party crap, nothing. Faithful. Loyal. Always comes back to you. Always talks good about you. Always has your best interests, but also theirs. You know what I'm saying? Being loyal. Being there. Having your back. That kind of a thing. But it doesn't necessarily always mean faithful. Okay? Um, but we'll keep going. I don't know. I don't know. This may have nothing to do with that at all. But they do have something they need to tell you. Uh, all right, yeah, King of Swords, Aquarius energy, truth, honesty, clarity, standing in your truth, standing in your power, speaking your truth, communicating. Wow. 
Ooh. Four of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Oh, three of Swords. Were they were they pretending to be single? <laughs> were they in another commitment with somebody else? Living with somebody else? Your person could be very independent. Virgo, I'm going to swing this another way. For some of you, that's the story. For others of you, this person could be very independent, very attractive. You guys could have been living together, you and this person. And they may have been acting single. Three of Swords. There could have been. Could have been a third party. Could have been. I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You could be the third party if they were in another connection. But, all right, blockages. Blockages. Virgo and their person. What's blocking this connection? Virgo and their person. Justice. Libra energy. Could be a Libra. Could be someone is married. It needs to get divorced. Yeah, third party. I'm starting to see it. It's coming out. Third parties aren't always cheating either. Third parties could be friends, family, whatever, getting their, putting themselves in, involved or getting in the way of this connection, all right? Um, someone could be going out, partying, drinking, hanging out with friends too much, celebrating, that kind of a thing. But I do feel for most of you, might have been too many people involved here, but let's see. What else? What else? Four of Swords. Yeah, this isn't being healed right now. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with another Earth sign or an Earth sign got in the way of this connection. Um, or a parent, a mother or father could have gotten in the way butted their nose in or a friend or something, whatever, take it how it resonates. But I feel like their healing is not happening right now. Yeah, there is deception. There was sneaky behavior, manipulation, lies, deceit, nine of cups. About someone being selfish here, someone could have um, either like a an addiction or a bad habit, drinking too much, partying too much, and making bad decisions. Because of that, it's impairing their their decision making for some of you. And it makes them sneaky and manipulative and, and liars. They have something to confess. They have something they need to tell you. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? There could be an age difference. We have Page of Cups and then the Moon. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Why? Ace of Cups. I feel like they, they want to talk. But I feel like they don't know how to communicate this to you yet. Ace of Cups, Two of Wands. Yeah, they're either they see you making a decision, Virgo, re, in, regard, in regards to love. Or they are when it comes to the love for you. Something unknown again. There's a lot of like hidden stuff here. I feel like they're going to send you like this small message to like test the waters. We have the magician. Oh, be careful they don't manipulate or twist a story. Make sure they, when they do, make sure they take responsibility here. For their actions and not try to twist it and blame somebody else. You know what I mean? Other than that, I do feel they're trying to manifest you. Now we have the king and queen of swords. 
for some of you, you could have been married to this person or they were married to somebody else and they could be approaching you to talk to you about a divorce or a separation here um, or a rekindling to move this on to calmer waters, six of swords. Yeah, oh, could have been an Aries. You may have ghosted them. We have the Hermit, Virgo, Queen of Wands, Aries, the Emperor, Aries, the Tower, Scorpionic Energy, Five of Wands, and Six of Swords. Yeah, there was competition here. There was too many people involved. It caused the Tower moment. I feel like you found something out, but you don't have the whole truth here. You don't know all of it. You know enough. But I don't think you know the full story as to what actually went on or went down here. Your person needs to confess something. And it has to do with other people. Could be something at, at work, like an office affair or... I don't know. Either way, it was like earth shattering, that tower moment. It caused everything to come crumbling down. Let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome, keep in mind everyone has free will, so it could change, all right? This person's stubborn. Ten of Wands in reverse. This burden isn't done yet. If it has to do with drinking or like substance abuse or overindulging, spending, working, shopping, going out, having fun, friends, whatever. I don't know if that's going to be done. I don't know if that person, your person is ready to like move on from that, but let's keep going. Potential outcome. For Virgo, potential outcome, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, oh, Gemini energy, the Hermit again, Virgo energy. For some of you, this person has a family with someone else or with you. Oh, so for some of you, someone from the past could have came back, rushing back to your person. And that's what set this whole thing off and got this party started. Could be an ex Ooh, you have children with, they have children with, so something like that. Something to do with a family dynamic. Hmm. Virgo, I feel like you're you actually might block this person. It this truth that's gonna it is gonna come to light. It is. It might make you turn your back here. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. Now we have the King and Queen of Wands which is attraction, desire, passion, sexual energy here. And it's funny because we have the hermit with the queen of wands and the hermit with the king of wands. Doesn't mean you're dealing with a fire sign when there's a king and queen. It's just matching energy. So like king and queen of wands, they're both single. They're fun, flirty, outgoing, attractive, passionate, sexual, um, adventurous, spontaneous, that kind of a thing. All right. King and queen of swords. They're usually the unhappy, divorced, getting divorced on your way to a divorce, that kind of very cold, cut off energy. So I have two people here. There's fire, passion, sexual desire. And then I have two people here where there's bickering, arguing, disputes, cold, energy. So I feel like 
if you're married to this person and they stepped out, now you guys are just being very, like, cold to each other. But I feel like this, your person may block the side person. If you are the side person, you may block them. I don't know. I kind of see there's something ending here. It's a little bit confusing. Yeah, there's a cycle ending. Justice, again. Truth, fairness, balance, equality, all of that. If this is a divorce on your side, Virgo, I feel like it's I feel like it's going to give you that closure that you need. If this person needs to separate from somebody else, again, it's still going to give you that closure or it can start that new cycle that you want with this person. For some of you, if that makes any sense. Oh, that is a confusing one. Use your own discernment, you guys. I'm definitely not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the energies of what could potentially happen. And it seems like, I don't know, it's complicated, <laughs> to say the least. All right, what's the biggest obstacle Virgo's going to have to overcome in this connection? Biggest obstacle. We'll get into that. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back Obstacles. into your goals. We have laziness, abundance, sharing, and the fool. I feel like your biggest obstacle is, did this person play you for a fool? Or are you going to be a fool and take that leap of faith, all right? A lot of Aries energy showing up here, just so you know. I mean, we have a lot of other signs. We have water, earth, air, fire. We got them all. All signs are here. You could be dealing with anyone. It is a general reading. Um, sharing. So having a mutual understanding, being on the same page, abundance, making things happen, and laziness. Seeing the good. Oh, karmic lesson seeing the lesson in this that's i feel what this huge big message is yeah your experience here what what is the lesson what is it that you're supposed to learn from this that's your biggest obstacle all right let's see what else perception yeah red flags delusion perspective see through your own false beliefs or see through them Ego, pride, jealousy, self-preservation, walls, let your guard down. Union, reconciliation, eternal love, your time has come. There could be a reconciliation here for some of you. Marriage, legal partnership, commitment, marital bond, societal contract. There is something to do with a marriage. Somebody is married. Somebody is married. <laughs> and there was a third party. I don't know. You're going to have to... Let me know in the comments. All right, what else? What other messages do we have for Virgo? Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic options. Not showing hand and gambling. So do you, do you be the fool? Do you take that risk? Date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Get back together. Or sorry, get back out there. Plan. Set a date. Some of you might be getting back together. Some of you might be moving on, meeting someone new. And that could be what this is. You could have an Aries or a fire sign coming towards you for some of you. All right. Healthy choices. Yeah, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Yes, the truth is coming out. An engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment. So there is definitely marriage, commitment, engagement, something here. Something. All right. What would this person like to say to you if they could, Virgo? What would they say to you? 
I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take my frustration out on you. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. And I settled for second best because I don't deserve you. That's not an excuse for them to step out feeling like they're insecure. They don't deserve you. So I can treat you like however I want. That's not acceptable. <laughs> All right, Virgo, that is what I have for you. By my channel, Beyond the Moon, I am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. And feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. Um, so Libra, stay tuned till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, all right? So stick around. All right, Libra, your overall energy for this connection is fork in the road and never ending story. So feeling stuck, feeling like nothing's ever changing, going round and round in circles, same song, different or same song and dance uh, over and over and over again. Something needs to change. Like you have this urge for something needing to change. You're feeling very stuck. Your person, Libra, has unfinished symphony and yin. So yin and yang. This is the feminine side. It could be male or female. doesn't matter. Everyone has masculine and feminine. But this is that loving, caring, nurturing, compassionate, sensitive energy to it. Okay? So I feel like your person's trying to go about this with, like, love and understanding, um, but they may have been fooling you, all that glitters, underlying energy. You may have found something out, or they may have done something that has happened to you before, either by this person or somebody else, and you just feel like, I can't trust you now because it's the same thing. Same situation, different person, or even the same person over and over again. But let's get into your reading and see what's going on. Current energy is for Libra's person. Current energy is they want to talk. They want to talk. They want to communicate, Libra. They could be waiting, though. Like, they want to talk, but they could be waiting or giving it some time with Three of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. I feel like this person is in this King of Wands energy. They're very determined, um, very fiery, very passionate about communicating with you. However, they know that they may need to wait or give it some time before they reach out. All right, what else? What else? What else? Current energies, Libra's person. Yeah, they're feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, conflicted. There could have been arguments, disputes, tit for tat, one-upping each other, that kind of a thing going on. Um, or this person is just very inner conflicted here and feeling very abandoned or, or left out in the cold. For some of you, you could have lived together, all right? You could have had a higher level of commitment, engagement, marriage, something like that. Um, but I feel like they look at this as a wish come true, like they want a higher level of commitment with you or they want to put that connection back together and have a reason to celebrate they want victory and success here all right let's see blockages blockages you could have up and moved out on them packed your shit and left or kicked them out or something um let's see blockages what's blocking this connection blockages ten of wands there was a burden here we have Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I mean, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Ten of Pentacles. There could have been a family dynamic here, children, um, or there's something to do with loyalty. There could have been an earth sign that got in the middle of this or a, a parent, mother, father figure. For some of you, this person could have already had a family, 
a marriage or a higher level of commitment, children, that kind of a thing. And it was just a huge burden on this. Maybe they kept promising they were going to break away from that connection and they never did. Something along those lines, okay? They may have been just unloyal, unfaithful. Rushing in, rushing out, causing chaos, actions not matching their words, creating burdens. All right, what else? What else? Blockages. Could be an age difference between the two of you or just very poor communication. Or no communication at all. Virgo energy with the hermit. You know, there's something to do with communication here. And thoughts, stressed out, high anxiety, sleepless nights. I feel like it put you into this, this energy of like, oh, I can't anymore. I can't do this anymore. With the card flipped on here. Yeah, there's the Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, so Sagittarius energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Emperor Aries energy. There could have been a lot of things against this connection, you guys, or a lot of people in the way or against this. There could definitely have been a marriage involved somewhere. King and Queen of Wands, or King and Queen of Pentacles, that's usually the married couple with children, the house, home, life, whatever. And someone could have stepped out on that marriage, possibly with somebody at work or met through work or something, networking or something like that. Hmm. Let's see, how does this person truly feel about you? How does this person truly feel about you? Libra, how do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? The Empress. So now we have the Emperor and the Empress. Wow. Uh, for some of you, there could be a pregnancy here. You may have children with them for some of you, Taurus energy. I feel like either you're married or this person is married, but you guys are better suited for each other. You know, like you guys are the male or female again, doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot, but you guys are the emperor and the empress. You guys are the strongest of couples. They see you as that, but they could be stuck in another situation another uh, marriage or something with children or family or something like that. How else do they feel? How else do they feel about you? There's that Ace of Cups. I think that flipped before. They love you. There's love here. I feel like they want a new beginning with you. The lovers, Gemini energy. Soulmate and Two of Cups. Wow. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, and the lovers. You guys, this person really, really does love you and care for you. They may have a really hard choice to make, or you do with the fork in the road here. Feel free, Libra. When I say your person, it could be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? It could be your energy and not theirs, so place it where you see fit. But there could be a choice in love here. Maybe it's you that has to make that decision. Maybe you're married and seeing somebody else, seeing this person. But wow, wow, wow. You are like a wish come true to this person, Libra. They have hope and faith. How else do they feel? How else do they feel about Libra? Queen of Cups. They don't want to break your heart. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. 
that's emotions. It's water. Water is emotions. And three of swords in reverse. They don't want to be hurt and they don't want to hurt you. They care. They love. Cancer energy is the, the most strongest emotional energy and the most loving, caring, nurturing energy. And that's how they feel about you. I mean, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Yeah, they want to put in the work and effort or rebuild this. They're trying to figure out how to reconcile with you, Scorpionic energy. They want victory and success. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to be logical, making a head over heart decision because emotions may have gotten the best of them. I feel like this person is a, an emotional type person or sensitive um, when it, with emotions. But let's see, what's the potential outcome? Ace of Cups. Again, potential outcome. Keep in mind, you guys, everyone has free will. You could change your mind. They could change their mind. It's just a snapshot of what it could be. But wow, Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. Planting seeds, Seven of Pentacles. It might take a little bit of time. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. It might take a little bit of time, Seven of Swords. If somebody was sneaky, manipulative, there might need to be some communication about that, why that happened, what was the reason for it, okay? Um, but wow, 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 look at all these pentacles. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. This is growth. This is maturing. This is putting in that work and effort to create this forever end goal, this long-term stability, loyalty, family dynamic. But someone needs to come clean or come clear, take off that mask and talk about anything that was hidden or share emotions or just get this figured out. This has such potential. Yep, get that truth and clarity. There needs to be a conversation. And I feel like your person, that's what they want to talk about. They started off with the eight of wands. They want to talk. They want to talk. There could be something they need to confess or get off their chest or clear the air with you. Because this, this has potential, so much potential to be a, a your forever person. Anything else? Yeah. So for some of you, there, there could be a divorce here. Someone needs to get themselves single, potentially get a divorce or something with the justice system or contracts and fight for this and keep fighting. I feel like this is like, this is a meant to be connection with obstacles in the way that just need to get dealt with or ironed out. Communication, I feel something with communication, like there could have been a huge break or lack of communication or poor communication. I feel like that's what needs to transform here and that's what needs to change in this in this connection. But wow, you guys were, you're like meant to be. All right, let's see. Um, uh, biggest obstacles you're going to have to overcome. Biggest obstacles for Libra. We'll get into that right after this quick. Being with me until this point in your reading, it is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back uh, into biggest it. Biggest obstacles. We have creativity and sorrow. So someone could be feeling a sense of sadness, loss, regret, or feeling like sorry for themselves in this instead of looking at the big picture or putting yourself in other people's shoes could be you could be them all right 
Um, so overcoming that guilt or sorrow here and creativity, getting creative on how to bring this back together or how to communicate or what it is to, to absorb or get rid of all these blockages here and all this that's against you guys in this connection. So I feel like those are your obstacles is to the hows, who, what, when, where, why, and how can we get this to work when we're both in, in this situation, you know, and coming together. Uh, but let's see what else. Potential. See? Major potential here. Fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless. I feel like there's so much potential with this connection. It, like, forever. Stuck. Block. Third party. Silence. Barrier. Shift your focus and clear the energy. Rise above. Drama. Obstacles. Pettiness. Find the strength to rise. See? Your biggest obstacle is to overcome these obstacles. <laughs> you know? Somebody is stuck. Someone's stuck in something. Destruction. Yeah, tower moment. Uh, unexpected change, but it brings new opportunities. All right, what else do we have for Libra? I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. All right, I think like is an understatement. This person freaking loves you. What else for Libra? Ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Insane chemistry for sure. All right. What would this person like to say to you if they could? What would they like to say to you? I couldn't go against my family to be with you. See, there was something with family keeping them stuck. But they know this isn't over. Mm -mm. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. That's the all that glitters. They weren't being true to you or to themselves. Wow, Libra. You're going to have to let me know in the comments what's going on. Uh, but that is what I have for you this week. Please stop by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I'm doing a peek at your person. Love tarot reading. All right, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. Don't force anything to fit, okay? It is general, you guys. Um, and also, Scorpio, stay tuned until the end. I have a big announcement to make about a 10K giveaway, so stick around. All right, so, Scorp, I'm going to get into your overall energy, your person's overall energy, their current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles, advice, all that fun stuff, so... Day till the end. All right, let's see what's going on, Scorpio, in love. Your overall energy, we have no place like home and time to go. So you could be feeling either out of place or feeling like you're just not comfortable in this connection anymore or it just doesn't feel at home to you. It's time to go. Or you need to walk away from another situation in order to go towards a new situation that does feel more like home or something about moving or traveling. All right. Um, let's see. Your person has a change in the wind and why. So I feel like your person could be doing a lot of self-reflecting, going within, asking the who, what, when, where, why, and hows, doing some research, looking some things up possibly watching you on social media, online. Um, and then we have a change in the wind. I feel like your person is looking for some kind of a change, and so are you. All right, something different, something new, or why? Why, why? Underlying energy, we have peace and not for you. I feel like there's a new beginning here. You're realizing something just isn't for you, Scorp. I feel like, yeah, flexible soulmates, the egg. There's some kind of new beginning here for you. All right, let's see. Current energies for your person. We have Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, 
Could have been a lot of chaos, conflict. Someone could have been rushing in, rushing out, love bombing. Actions don't match their words. They could be rushing towards you. I don't know. Two of swords, nine of wands. I feel like your person is trying to make a head over heart decision. Putting their emotions behind them and trying to figure things out. But there could be something that they're not seeing clearly. However, we do have nine of wands. Their walls could be up. Guard could be up. Or it's the wounded warrior card. They could be really wanting to fight for this connection or really try to stand up for this connection and protect it. Hmm. Current energies. What else? We have the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, and Five of Cups. <sighs> there could have been something that was hidden that came to light, Scorpio. You could have found something out. And now I feel like your person has a lot of sadness, regret, remorse, a sense of loss. They, they might come... <sighs> For some of you, this person could come rushing towards you. Hmm. Could be an age difference. That page of uh, cups. I don't know, Scorp. What else? Current energies. Why that five of cups? What is this moon? What's hidden? Something could be happening on the full moon, too, as well. That's coming up. Three of Wands and Page of Wands. Again, the age difference, waiting. Three of Wands. Your person's waiting. Possibly to communicate with you. Or, like, reignite a spark or something. Hmm. Scorpio. What's going on, Scorpio? <laughs> Just being a dork. I'm sorry. I know. All right. Blockages. Eight of Cups. All right. Scorpio, I feel like either you walked away or feel the need to walk away, but it, there's something blocking you. You could be holding back, too afraid to do that. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's a lot of air showing up for you in this reading. And it doesn't mean, that, I mean, you could be dealing with an air sign. You could have a lot of air in your chart. It could also mean there's a lot of thoughts, communication, trying to make smart decisions, looking at the big picture, trying to get clarity, a lot of like in your head stuff or thoughts. There could be things that you need to cut off and cut out that no longer serve you. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. Could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. Or that's blocking this connection. I'm sorry about my dogs, you guys. Mm, Capricorn energy. The devil, shadow side. Someone may have some shadow work to do or to deal with. Your person could have been a little bit of a player. They could have been acting out of like an insecurity and getting attention from other people. And that kind of like fueled their fire here. It made them feel good, sexy, like confidence boosting. The hangs man, Pisces energy. Someone needs to get a different perspective. And that's being blocked. I feel like it's your person because they're they're the ones asking the questions why. They're not seeing clearly. They're not seeing things as a whole. They're they're very tunnel visioned, I feel. They're very focused on like one thing. Ten of Swords. There could have been a painful ending here. Could have been deceit, deception, stabbed in the back, betrayal. There could have been a truth that your person was not expressing. They were holding back on it. Oh. 
for some of you, it actually could be an opposite energy here. For some of you, this person is very attracted to you. There is desire and passion and chemistry. They were holding back on the temptation. For some of you. I don't know. Let's see. How does this person feel about you, Scorp? How do they feel about you? The Fool, Aries Energy. I feel like they want to take a leap of faith. Five of Wands. There's passion. Ooh, I'm going in a different direction here. This is switching up. Knight of Cups, Pisces Energy. There could have been competition third-party stuff, other people or too many people involved here. They're in the way. Could be friends, family, anything, all right? Um, there could have been heated, passionate arguments, disputes, things like that. But I feel like this person actually wants to come towards you and make some kind of romantic gesture or offering or send a message, like a fun, flirty message. Karma, scorpionic energy. There you are. The Empress, Taurus energy. For some of you, you could have children with this person or 1% of you, they could feel like you reconnected with an ex that you have children with or they did. Or this person really sees you as Empress energy, male or female, doesn't matter, okay? There's no gender in tarot. But they see you as loving, caring, nurturing, abundant, fertile, grounded long-term energy and Scorpio you you do carry that you are water so you are emotions you are a caring loving energy I feel like they want to reconcile with you I feel like this person kind of had an epiphany asking all these questions reflecting going within i feel like they almost had like a wake-up call because they're feeling left out in the cold left hanging abandoned for some of you there there could be a pregnancy current on the table or coming towards you in the near future but i don't know i feel like this is going to come back together I, or they want it to if you do i know you walked away though and Scorpio, keep in mind, the energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. I could be talking about your person. Could be your energy and vice versa, okay? Six of Cups, yeah. You could have known each other since childhood, or this person um, is really thinking about you, reminiscing, looking back, old memories. High Priestess, Scorpio, um, Pisces energy. They see you as very intuitive. They could also feel like you might be keeping things to yourself or moving in silence or have a secret. And it's making them feel left out in the cold, abandoned by you. They want a transformation. Scorpio, a lot of your energy is showing up in this reading. They want things to change. They want to plant seeds with you. They want a new cycle, a new chapter. For some of you, you could live at a distance. Um, there could be travel involved or something like that. But I feel like this person, look, you're their double wish fulfillment. You are this person's wish come true. They have hope and faith for this. They want to transform this. Hmm. Wow, let's see. Potential outcome, Scorpio. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, it could change. Everyone has free will. All right, you could change your mind. They could change their minds. All right, we have the tower. There you are showing up to your own party again. And Ten of Cups. There's going to be some kind of shocking news, epiphany. I feel like it's actually, because it's with the Ten of Cups, it's going to be a positive tower moment. Like, oh my God, is this real? Is this really happening? Because that Ten of Cups, that's the ultimate wish fulfillment. That's emotional. Wow. And Ten of Pentacles. Wow. 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 
family, long-term stability, loyalty, emotional happiness. Ten of Swords, yeah. So, Ten of Swords, Ten is an ending. Painful endings, that's, that's going to be a thing of the past. Third-party stuff, inner conflict, too many people involved, chaos, arguments, disputes, tit for tat. That's all coming to an end. Scorpio. That's all coming to an end. Hold on. Let's get some more. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today, you guys. Yep. There it is. Transformation again. Yep. No more sneaky behavior. No more lies, deception, deceit. None of that. Yep. Walking back. You're walking back. <laughs> Eight of Cups in reverse. So you've walked away. You walked away. You're walking back. You're walking back. For most of you, Scorpio, you are. You're walking back. You're going back to this. I feel like this person is, is going to prove yourself, prove themselves, the chariot, cancer energy. Forward movement. I see this being long term. You're not going to expect this. Scorpio, you're not going to expect this. Just when you thought like, I'm done, I'm done. Something changes. Yeah. Things balance out. It becomes fair, equal. Yeah. Yeah. A new cycle. Wow, I see it very, very positive. Wish fulfillments all over the place. It's going to be a, a shock, though. I This person may just, like, up and surprise you. They're trying to change their ways. They're trying to change for you. They want peace. They realize that they lost you. They they realized this, but this is what's keeping this together here. Soulmates. That and that's what this devil card is here for, too. That strong bond, that chain that's binding you guys together. This is a soulmate, but I feel like there was a little bit of karma tied to this connection that needed to be worked through. Because again, no place like home. It's like you guys have known each other before in a past life, and there was just some karmic energy that needed to uh, be worked through, and you both learned something from this. I see reconciliation, and I see it long term, possibly marriage, family, children, whatever. All right, biggest obstacles beyond illusion and the rebel. So, Scorpio, you uh, being rebel? I do. I'm Scorpio, sun, rising, and a bunch of other placements. I am. I'm like, if, if someone tells me what to do, I want to do the opposite sometimes. Or if I'm not comfortable, I, I shut down and I become a rebel, right? I feel like don't let pride or don't let ego or anything like that get in the way of seeing clearly what this connection is. All right. You might be thinking, oh, I don't, I don't want this person, you know, that kind of a thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like just the opposite of what you should be thinking. Like stop fighting yourself on this beyond illusion. See the clarity, see the truth in this. All right. Um, I feel like that's your biggest obstacle is to really see what this connection is. Anyway, all right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? What other messages? We'll get into that right after this quick message. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into Fifth your dimension. Reading. Told you. 
intuitive communication. You are connected at the soul level. You guys are speaking to each other through dreams or your higher selves or, or talking to each other, your guides, your angels. It's divine, okay? It's a soul contract. Control, stagnation, delusion. Release the need to control situations. That rebel card. Don't try to control it. Let things happen how they're supposed to happen. Give it to the universe and let it work itself out. All right, what else? What other messages for Scorpio in love? Outcome, results, conclusion, ending. You will get a resolution. Yep, so something's going to happen. The epiphany, the aha moment. It's, gonna, it's coming. It's on its way. All right, what else do we have for Scorpio in love? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Thank you. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Scorpio, I have to say it, I do feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're running. It could be reversed again, you guys, all right? Could be your person, could be you, whatever. I'll tell you how it resonates. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. What is this? Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Yes, I can see that. Look at wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, and palm tree. Stability, security, growth, endurance, flexibility. Look at you guys. Get out of your own way, Scorp. Get out of your own way. I feel like you're you're in. I mean, this person, sure, they could have had red flags. They could have scared you, freaked you out, whatever. But that this has the potential to be long, long term, wedding, marriage, family. Look at this is. I feel like your end person. This is it. This is who you're gonna be with. If this is resonating with you. All right, what would this person like to say to you if they could, Scorp? What would they like to say to you if they could? I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you moved on. They feel like you may have moved on if you blocked them out. Or you may feel like that. That could be you. I'm resisting my desire for you because you're the one that I feel walked away or some, something. Or felt like it was time to walk away. All right, what else? I mean, you guys, use your own discernment, too. You know, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the energies. <laughs> I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. See? See? This isn't done. This is not done. For some of you, they've committed to someone else because the other person doesn't challenge them like you do. Um, I kept a, fa a facade to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. Yeah, because you guys are freaking soulmates. <laughs> you know, you know who this person is. You probably have past lives together before, you know. Scorpio, that is what I have for you this week. My channel, Beyond the Moon, I'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. So, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate Please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? Uh, it is a general reading. So, Sag, um, stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, so stay tuned. All right, I'm going to get into your overall energy and their overall energy, their current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles, all the fun stuff. So, stick around. All right, so, Sag. Um, channeling your energy I was getting a very like irritated irritable like I got stress all up in my like shoulders I feel like you're 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 stressed or confused um a lot going on with you guys um so let's get into this reading and see what's what's happening yeah <laughs> all right you have here and now between worlds co-create 
yeah, I feel like you're you're stuck. You're feeling stuck or you're, you're stagnant, stuck, not knowing which way to go. Very irritated energy here. Um, I feel like you really, really, really want some kind of a new beginning or something to break here. Like, let's get out of this crap and go into the sun. Like, I'm tired of being stuck. I want something new to happen. I want a door to open. I want potential or possibilities. Something like that. I feel like there's just something where you're just feeling like stuck. All right. Your person, on the other hand, they have all that glitters isn't gold. So they could have been wearing a false self mask. Some things may have come to light, some truth, some clarity. Um, your person also has by the book and go the distance, though. So I feel like your person, even though they were wearing a false self mask, I feel like they still do want to do things the right way or they want things to be long lasting or go the distance, putting in that work and effort. Um, underlying energy, though, we have abandoned, orphaned. So I don't know if you're feeling left out in the cold or if they're feeling left out in the cold or they have like abandonment issues or something going on here. But let's dig in and find out, all right? Current energies for Sagittarius' this person. Current energies for Sag's person. What's going on? Yeah, they're feeling a sense of loss, sadness, regret, remorse. Hmm. Did a truth come out and now they like they're they're trying to make it up to you? Oh, let's see. What's going on? What's going on? We have five of five of wands and five of cups. So Heated arguments, heated, passionate arguments, disputes, one-upping each other, tit-for-tat, comp uh, competition. Was there like a lot of arguing going on between the two of you? And it was keeping you feel stuck, like you're stuck now? Hmm, what else? Current energies for Sagittarius' this person. Page of Pentacles. There could be an age difference between the two of you. Doesn't have to be. Maybe stability wasn't fully complete here. We have Three of Cups. Options. Three of Swords. Was this person treating you like an option? Putting you in third party situations? Not giving you full stability? For some of you, there could be a pregnancy involved, like they could have gotten someone pregnant for some of you. For others of you, that's not the case for all of you. For others of you, I feel like there is something to do with this person, possibly with like, if they have children with somebody else, a house, a family dynamic, something like that. I'm almost getting like they put you in a third party situation when they were already in a higher level of commitment. Hmm. Hmm. What's blocking this? What's blocking this connection? Sagittarius and their person. What's blocking this connection? Hmm. Deception, lies, betrayal, deceit, manipulation. This person wasn't honest with you. They have they have somebody else. They have someone else. Yeah, and it caused a painful ending. A lot of arguments. King of Swords, there could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini involved. There could be an age difference or children involved here. Wow, that's why I'm feeling like a very on edge, like stressed out. This person caused a lot of pain. I feel like they acted very immature. Definitely a third party situation going on here, guys. Definitely a third party situation. They were pretending or acting to be single. And they weren't. 
I feel like they misled you. It was like, yeah, they came across like knight in shining armor, male or female, whatever. It was too good to be true. It was fake. It was a facade. It wasn't, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nope, I don't like this energy at all, Sag. I'm doing side notes over here. Yeah. Now we have the emperor and empress on the table. So that's that's a married couple. Or a family dynamic. Like having children together, living together, family, family. And they're going around making love offers to other people. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. We basically have everyone here except for water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Well, we have Pisces here. So Scorpio, Cancer. I mean, we they're all here. It could be anybody that you're dealing with. This person was a player. <laughs> Sorry to say it. They just, they were fake. And lies. I feel like lies after lies after lies. Wow. How do they truly feel about you, Sag? How does this person truly feel about you? Oof, this one's tough. How does this person truly feel about you? Ace of Cups. Of course they do. They want a new beginning. Yeah. Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning here. There's passion, chemistry, attraction. They're very attracted to you, Sag. They're very attracted to you. They see you as very guarded, though. Like you're protecting yourself. You're not letting them come right back in. How else do they feel? I could, I could say they also feel like they want to protect this connection with you. Scorpionic energy, tower moment. They know they caused the tower. They know that they caused everything to come crumbling down. And now they want to freaking talk. They want to talk to you, Sag. They want to communicate. I feel like they're trying to find the strength and courage to reach out to you. Like, will you talk to them? Will it go okay? Oh, they want to tell you that they want to fight for this and they're getting divorced from the other person or they want to do things the right way. They want to transform this. If you're married to this person, they want to balance the scales here. They want to fight for this and they want to transform this. That's what they want to communicate to you. After they done, did all up, like, bad. Like, this is the true meaning of it's complicated. <laughs> like, holy cow. Yeah, they want to balance things out. That Now they're carrying the burden. They caused all this on you, but now it's heavy on them. See, potential outcome, potential outcome. Keep in mind, everyone has free will. It can change. There's that emperor again, Aries energy, bossing up, taking control, taking action. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Death card, Scorpionic energy. This person wants to come towards you in a very powerful way. They want to take action. They want to take control. They want to boss up, own up to their mistakes. Knight of Wands, there you are. Sag. Yeah. Your wish come true to them, so they're going to come back towards you. Tower again. Tower after tower after tower after tower. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Yep. They're holding on to you. They're not letting you go. They're feeling sad, regret, remorse. 
they want to reconcile this. You are their wish come true. They're super conflicted. They've put too many people in the way of this connection, but they're holding on to you, Sag. They're not letting you go. Because you made them happy. So now they want to put in the work and effort, but yeah, you're feeling stuck because of the family situation. Whatever that means to you, there's a family dynamic here. It's causing you to feel stuck. If you have a family with this person, it's making you feel stuck. Like, should I just give in and, and go back to this person or do I stand my ground and say no? You got to use your own discernment here. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but this person does want to come back because they feel regret and remorse. Wow. Well, let's see. What's the biggest obstacle you're going to have to overcome? Biggest obstacle you're going to have to overcome. We will get into that right after this. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into your obstacle. Reading. Slowing down and understanding. So I feel like, um, Sag, understanding where this person came from, understanding their background, their childhood, traumas or hurts pains that they've been through that's making them do what they do today um, so having that understanding or compromise or being on that mutual page with each other slow things down a bit here all right don't rush into anything if this person you feel you can work it out with them i feel like the obstacle is to not just be like all right welcome back take it slow and have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Follow your intuition too, all right? This person exhausted you. Do you want to go through that again, you know? So don't rush into anything. Make sure you have a true understanding of what this person is. Did they learn their lesson? Are they going to do this again? Is it going to be a cycle, right? All right, what, else, what other messages do we have for Sag? What other messages? Release what I just said. Uh, release, loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt, perception, red flags, delusion, perspective, see through your own false beliefs, all that glitters isn't gold, and lessons, knowledge, understanding, look for the lesson in this situation, all right, there is definitely a lesson here, yeah, something to do with family, kids, opinions, judgment, resolve family issues, get support, and hidden path. I feel like that door that you're you're waiting for is going to open up for you. All right, an awakening, and then romance. I feel like you have some blessings, someone else, something new coming in instead of this person. I feel like some of you might give it another try, and it might go well with you. But I feel like some of you, you're just kind of done. And you're looking for that new beginning. And I feel like you're going to get it. A door is going to open for you. All right, let's see. What else? What other messages? Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Yep. They want to talk. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other together and be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal, dragonfly. Things coming to light. You found out the truth here. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to you if they could? Sad, what would they like to say to you if they could? What would they like to say to you if they could? I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. It could be that too. 
I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. Have we grown apart and you moved on? So, yeah, they're trying to get that confidence to come back. Uh, when times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. Oof. All right, Sag, let me know in the comments if this resonates, um, if they've reached out, all that good stuff. Stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon, I'm doing a peek at your person, love tarot reading. All right, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. Don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. Um, Capricorn, also, I'm doing a 10K giveaway, so stick around till the end for details about that, all right? Let's get into it. I'm going to do your overall energy, your person's overall energy, their current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles, advice, all the fun stuff. So stay tuned. All right, so Cap, you have round and round and by the book. I feel like you're trying really hard to do things the right way, um, not be one-sided, not be selfish. I feel like you're really trying to keep things in line, stay grounded, keep your focus, but you feel like you're in like a, you're stuck in a cycle, right? Your tires are spinning, but they're not gaining any traction here. Um, could be false starts in this relationship or connection. Just things aren't changing. It's the same old song and dance, round and round, all right? Um, could be a karmic cycle, but we'll get into that. Your person has all that glitters and milk and honey. So all that glitters isn't gold. I feel like your person is wearing a false self mask. Um, they may not be completely honest or truthful with themselves or with you, um, whether it's about feelings for you um, or who they are. Maybe their true colors are coming out. But they see this connection as milk and honey. It's sweet to them. They find it as like, basically like they struck gold. All right. Um, so they see the value. They see the worth in this connection. Underlying energy, we have unfinished symphony and here and now. So I feel like there's like a stuck, stagnant energy right now. All right. Like you're on a break. Like Ross from Friends would say. Um, just kidding. Anyway. So I feel like either you or your person or both might feel like there could be a new beginning on the horizon here. There's an egg in both of these pictures. Eggs are usually a new beginning, the birth of something new or something fertile. All right, so let's get into your person's current feelings or current energies. What's going on? Capricorn's person. What do we got for Capricorn's person? In love. Strength, Leo energy. All right. Are they trying to find some kind of confidence, courage, strength? Could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Two of Wands. All right. They're trying to find the courage to make a decision. All right. Um, or they have made one and it took a lot of strength for them to do that. Page of Cups could be an age difference between the two of you. Wow, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Your person, they want a new beginning. They want a stable, solid, in love, romantic new beginning here. All right. But I feel like it's either a connection that didn't really mature into anything or this person was acting a little bit immature emotionally. Maybe they're a little bit over emotional. All right, Capricorn, you don't really know how to handle that. <laughs> I feel um, when it comes to emotions of other people, I feel like it shuts you down a little bit and maybe you just didn't know how to handle it and you're trying to do things the right way. Um, I feel like your person is very protective of this connection. They're very protective of this connection. All right, let's see what's blocking this. What is blocking this with Capricorn? Hanged man, Pisces energy, two of swords. Someone's, someone's not seeing things clearly. Capricorn, keep in mind when I say your person, it could be your energy, vice versa. You can flip it, reverse it, whatever. Um... I feel like you may not be seeing things clearly. And I'm only saying that because Queen of Pentacles came up and this is your energy. 
with the two of swords and the hanged man. So, mm, Cap, you could actually be blocking this connection by not being completely open-minded, not seeing a different perspective. I'm not siding with your person in any kind of way because I feel like they were kind of being a little bit not themselves or not showing their true colors and maybe that came out. Or there's a need for you to gain some kind of clarity or a different perspective here. But let's see. You could be dealing with another Capricorn as well or a Taurus Virgo for some of you. What else? What else? Eight of Cups is being blocked. I don't think this is over, you guys. I feel like neither of you can walk away from this. And that's why Unfinished Business or Unfinished Symphony came up. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Things could have moved too fast in this connection. And it didn't have time to get that stability, that growth there. Again, there could be an age difference between the two of you, Page of Wands. I feel like there was a lot of, there or there is a lot of chemistry, attraction, passion, desire. Maybe the sex is really good. I feel like when it comes to that, that part of the connection is good. When it comes to emotions and stability, I feel like there's a little bit of a wishy-washy, uneasy, un ungrounded energy there. Well, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to be a team. They want to collaborate and be on the same page. Seven of Swords in reverse. They don't want to have any sneaky behavior, manipulations, lies, deception, none of that. They don't want that. Or they see that you are like not about that. And Capricorn, you're you're not. You guys are more, you, you guys are funny. You're awesome. You, I love Capricorn energy. I'm with a Capricorn. Love Capricorns. I feel like this person knows that you're like a no bullshit person. You guys are very good at reading people personalities, energy, intuition, all of that. You guys are very good at that. And I feel like this person knows that and knows that they can't bullshit you. They may have tried. Yeah, the high priestess, Scorpio Pisces energy, the high priest. Wow. Nine of wands. They could see that you have your walls up right now. You're a little bit guarded. Yep. Like I said, when it comes to them being very emotional or, you know, crying or, or sharing a lot of emotions, you guys do kind of shut down and put your guard up because you, you're not, that's not your energy. You guys are very more like, you know, stability and focused and so they see that your your guard is up a little bit. I feel like if you're there's no contact, they are watching you online, social media. You guys might be having like small little text message conversations here. Nothing too drawn out or too big. They do see a higher level of commitment with you. They do see that. For some of you, you could be married to this person already. Um, but they see you as marriage material. But they know, they know that you are super intuitive and you're not going to deal with any drama, bullshit, nothing. They know that. But they want to work together with you. Yeah, look, Aries energy, they want to be the fool. They want to take that leap of faith. They want you to take that leap of faith. Well, let's see, what's the potential outcome here for Capricorn and this person? Keep in mind, it could change. Everyone has free will. You could change your mind. They could change their minds. All right. There's just a snapshot of what it could be. Potential outcome for Capricorn and their person. The moon. Cancer Pisces energy. Something could be happening on the full moon. Doesn't have to be. I feel like there's something unknown. Something hidden that could be brought to light. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the star, Aquarius, energy. Hmm. 
Could be dealing with a water sign or Aquarius. Could be anybody, you guys. What you don't see coming is that this connection is actually a wish come true. Yeah, this person's not letting you go. This person's not, they're not letting you go. You're a wish to them, they're a wish to you. There's hope and faith and healing here. What else? I feel like you don't know this because now this person saw that it shut you down when they shared emotions that they're they're holding back on telling you how they feel. We have six of cups. You may have known this person from childhood or long, long ago. But I feel like you're both like reminiscing about each other, looking back at old pictures, memories, photos, all of that. What else? Potential outcome. Nine of Wands. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Yeah. Things are going to balance out here. There, there's a lot of conflict, I feel, going on mentally or externally between the two of you. Some disagreements, disputes, chaos, tit for tat, that kind of a thing. But I feel like it is going to balance out because I do feel like you both want this and you're both willing to fight for this connection here, Cap. So... I also feel what you don't see coming is there could be some swift, fast movement here. But I feel like it's going to create victory and success with that Six of Wands. It's like you're both, you're both going to be like charging towards each other. <laughs> like an epiphany is going to happen or a wake up call. And I feel like this is going to balance out and come back together. And I see victory and success. Use your own discernment. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just saying I do see a wish coming true here for this connection if you want it. All right. What's the biggest obstacle? What's the biggest obstacle for Capricorn in this connection? Biggest obstacle. We'll get into that right after this quick message. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals, tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back and into it. Biggest you. obstacle, possibilities and the dream. Yeah, bringing that, and I wanted to say that with that Three of Pentacles here with how they feel about you. Three of Pentacles is teamwork, collaborating, having the same goal, working together, you know, as a team. It's also taking those visions, thoughts, fantasies, dreams, and turning them into a reality, into the 3D, right? The biggest thing to overcome is the dream and possibilities. Seeing through the, you know, the little things, seeing past that. I do see strength in this connection. I do. I see a new beginning. I see it lasting. I see it being a wish fulfillment. All right. But overcoming those blockages or having your walls up, your guard up and not seeing things fully, truly, clearly and Cap, I feel like I am kind of coming down on you in this reading and your person's not perfect. I'm just saying like their intention is good. It's pure. I do see that. Um, so that's why I'm kind of like, all right, you know, this has potential. All right. So if you're wondering why, that's why. I don't see them being toxic or ma malicious or manipulative. I don't I see them being a, a pure, genuine person where there was just maybe disagreements and not being on the same page. All right, let's see. What else? What else do we have for Capricorn? Pause. Yeah, inaction, calmness, step back, wait for the sign. Yep. Ooh. 
regret, remorse, life regrets, loss. Start making empowered choices. All right. So there could be some feeling of regret, sadness, loss, remorse. All right. In this connection, sacred space, altar, prayer, candles, commune with your own divinity. Follow your intuition. I feel like, you know, go within, do some reflecting, journaling, whatever it is you got to do. Walks in nature, work, projects. You guys like those side hustles um, or those hobbies, you know. So indulge yourself in that to clear your head and, and listen to your intuition. All right. Observe. Yeah. Social media, fascination, curiosity, watching from a distance. Look, journal. <laughs> oh, and compromise. That has a lot to do with this, you guys. Compromise, mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards and observe. Yeah, so they're watching you. You're watching them. But it all really, it does. It comes down to compromising. All right. What else do we have for Capricorn? The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth. All right. There's going to be a transformation here. Palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, out of focus, and healing heart, healing from heartbroken, or sorry, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And then we have addiction here, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. Some of you could be dealing with that all right which is why your walls are very much up all right um for some of you for others of you it, I, I addiction didn't really come through but both of them came together at the end so for some of you it's a side note you could be dealing with that all right uh what would this person like to say to you if they could capricorn what would they like to say if they could I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. <laughs> Cap, sometimes you guys know how to. <laughs> I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart and now I don't know how to let you go. Yeah, see, they're not done yet. Mm -mm, they're not done. All right, Capricorn, that is what I. Well, beyond the moon, I'm doing a peek at your person. Love tarot reading. So. Uh, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is general. Also, Aquarius, stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, all right? So stay tuned. All right, so Aquarius, your overall energy we have not for you and serendipity. So you may be seeing signs, synchronicities, red flags, things like that. That's kind of telling you that maybe this connection just isn't for you or there's something that's not for you and you're seeing something else possibly or someone else maybe struck your attention. But let's get into it and find out. All right. Your person's overall energy. They have to be fair and unfinished symphony. They're not done. They are not done. Also, keep in mind, Aquarius, I could be talking about your person's energy, but it could be yours and flip-flopped and reversed, okay? So place it where you see fit. But your person has to be fair and unfinished symphony. I feel like they're not done with this, and they want things to be fair and balanced, all right? You, I don't know, I'm feeling like you're kind of over it here. Um, bottom of the deck, we have peace and truth be told. So underlying energy there could have been a truth that came out or the reality or epiphany or realization of something here um, that maybe this just isn't for you and you just want to be happy and peaceful in a situation. But let's see. Current energy is for Aquarius's person. What's going on? The world. You could live at a distance uh, from each other or a new cycle. Your person may want to start a new cycle. I feel like they're reminiscing about you, thinking back about old memories, pictures, videos. Um, you could have also known each other since childhood or have been friends. Ooh, that could be it too. Maybe it's a friendship, situationship, and maybe you just don't want to go there and they do. But this could be a soulmate connection though. All right, for some of you, it could be. All right, wow, all right. Capricorn energy, the shadow side, the devil. 
Uh, there could be like triggers or red flags, like I said, some toxicity. This person could feel extremely bound to you. Um, there could be some toxic ways, jealousy, possessiveness, that kind of a thing going on. There could be something this person needs to heal from, from their childhood. We also have 10 of wands. There's a burden that this person wants to put down. What else? What else? Current energies. Wow. Ten of swords, ten of wands. Your person really wants to end any kind of negativity, toxic ways, triggers, obsessiveness, possessiveness, um, addictions, anything like that. I feel like your person really wants like a new fresh start here. They're really looking for victory and success. All right, this person might put you on a pedestal or think in high regards uh, when it comes to you. Let's see what's blocking this. What's blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection? King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Eight of Wands, Communication. Nine of Wands, Fighting the Good Fight, Wounded Warrior. For some of you, a water sign could have gotten in the way of this, or uh, you could be dealing with a water sign, again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or again, the negative to Scorpionic energy is possessiveness, controlling, jealousy, um, accusations, that kind of a thing. I feel like there was a block in communication or lack thereof. Or communication got very messy or you feel like you had to be very defensive all the time. That's what I'm getting here. This person may have always been like up your ass about shit, like accusing you or why didn't you call me? Why didn't you text me? Who are you with? Where are you going? Blah, blah, blah. Like that kind of a thing, like where you couldn't breathe. And you felt like you always had to like stand up for yourself or defend yourself or here, go through my phone, ask whoever I was with them. Like, I feel like you, it was something like that going on here. And it made you feel like you had to just walk away. You couldn't take it anymore. But let's see what else blockages. And that's why you just want peace. Yep, that would make sense. All right, we have King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody was very, again, just dominant, controlling. And then five of swords, inner conflict, or just always starting arguments, disputes. I'm also sensing like projecting like their insecurities onto you. Like everything they feel bad about themselves, it's like it's your fault. What else? Anything else for blockages? Could be like competitive arguments too. Like, again, you had to keep defending yourself. So it was like, I didn't do that. You did that. You, you know what I mean? Like that kind of a thing. Yeah, and the hermit Virgo energy. At some point, Aquarius, I feel like you had to just cut this person off or block them. You felt no other way, like this person wouldn't stop. And you, ha you had to cut off communication. It was just too much. Something that you thought at one point was like the best thing in the world turned to like kind of almost the worst, you know? Let's see, how does this person truly feel about you, Aquarius? How do they truly feel about you? The Empress, all right, you could have children with this person. Um, Taurus energy, they may want to have children with you or they see you as very loving, caring, nurturing, abundant, fertile. The queen of all queens, male or female, it doesn't matter, but they see you, they hold you in high regard, they do. 
but they don't show it. They don't respect you like it or talk to you like it. Like you could be extremely attractive, maybe even too good looking for this person and and they know that, but they're also I don't know, they're they're a jerk. <laughs> It's negative energy. Either they're realizing they broke your heart or they feel heartbroken because you walked away or you had to leave. All right, now we got King of Swords. There you are. That's your energy here. Aquarius, you guys are so intelligent. You pick up on, a, like, you read between people's words. You're usually very good at, like, standing up for yourself or speaking the truth or calling people out on their bullshit. And I feel like they know that. And to them, and because the Page of Cups is here, I'm almost getting it was, it was kind of like a mental game to be with you. They, they constantly were trying to like outsmart you or push your buttons because they knew how smart you are. They knew how intelligent you are. They, they knew how secure you are. And they were constantly trying to poke or take advantage or just take an immature way to this. I feel like they do see like that fun, playful side to you. But you were also, you had that serious side. You had to shut shit down when it needed to be shut down with this person. I still feel like they want victory with you. They could have, they, they definitely see that you pulled your energy back. They definitely see that. That's Pisces energy there. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. They see your, your... You're attractive, you're sexy, you're fun, spontaneous, outgoing. They may look at you like you played them. And this definitely does not need to be the truth, but it's their truth, their perspective or perception. Like, oh, Aquarius doesn't want to be with me. They they played me. They're seeing other people. Like they're they could be going around bashing you and making up stories that's not even true. Like you cheated on me. You the only reason why you could ever leave me is because there's somebody else. There must be somebody else. That kind of a thing when literally there was nobody else. You just couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. Oof, this one's a tough one. All right, let's see. What's the potential outcome? Keep in mind, Aquarius, everybody has free will, so you could change your mind, they could change theirs, and it could change the outcome. So, All right, we have four of cups, rejection, strength, Leo energy, the hanged man, Pisces energy, death card, scorpionic energy. This person is going to try to come towards you over and over and over again. They want a transformation. They want a new beginning. But I feel like with that Four of Cups, you're going to reject them. It's going to hit, it's hitting their ego. And it's almost like you're going to be like to this person, look, if you don't change the your perspective on your actions and how you treat people or treat me then this isn't gonna this isn't gonna change you're not gonna change you need to change your ways the moon devil capricorn energy they need to transform their toxic ways, their insecurities, their outdated things from childhood or past loves or whatever, whatever it was. They need to get help from that or, or take a serious look into it to change their actions. And you can't change a person unless they want to be changed, unless they take the action to make the changes. 
And you probably realize that, like, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to help this person, to change this person, and you can't unless they actually want to. And I feel like this person's a little bit all talk. You are a wish. This is your energy here. There's that moon that wanted to come out and King of Pentacles in reverse. Cancerian energy, then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's no stability here when it comes to this connection. There's no stability. And it might take you a while to see that, or it might take this person a while to see that they are unstable. They are causing this. I mean, there's red flags written all over this, you guys, and you probably finally saw them. This person is not stable. With how they handle their emotions or how they handle situations, they can't. It's like they were never taught, like... They were only taught, like, defense mechanisms or projections. They were never taught how to handle things. Well, you may have an Aries coming towards you that will give you reciprocity, that will bring you that balance that you're seeking. And that might be what you're seeing. You might have connected with somebody new could be somebody from work or just somebody who's very passionate, driven, go-getter. Double Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, though, for whoever's dealing right now with an Aries, they're completely unbalanced. <laughs> they got insecurities, self-esteem, ego... Mm, possibly addiction. We have double queen of cups under the under the deck. Cancer energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer is the most emotional sign in the zodiac, and if it's upside down or intensified it's it's not good it can be very toxic and I feel like that's what it's saying like this person's doubled up on emotions that need to be released or healed hmm. All right, let's see what's the biggest obstacle Aquarius is going to have to overcome biggest obstacle we'll get into that right after this quick message Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals, tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back Various into it. Various obstacles. We have going with the flow. So don't feed into this. Don't fall into their, their traps or their projections or their accusations. Just go with the flow where you're feeling led to go. Silence. Yeah, if, if you have to, you guys, if it's that bad, don't communicate with them. Just keep going with the flow with your own life. The creator manifest what you really want. Follow your intuition, go within, meditate, journal, salt baths, walks in nature, hobbies, whatever. I feel like this is a reflecting time for you to really like go within and just move in silence. Just move in silence. You don't need to tell this person what you're doing or where you're going. All right, let's see what else. Awakening. Yeah. Realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection, but I feel like this is more saying like you have that realization. You're awakening to this. And 
knowing your worth and knowing that this isn't for you. This is not for you. At some point, you may have fought for this, but you're not fighting anymore. Uh, vibration, energy and positivity. Raise your vibration and attract what you desire. Yeah, serendipity. That's what you're focusing on now. You're releasing this and, and letting it go. And then blessings, protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you. Once you release this and, and focus on yourself, your self-worth, your happiness, blessings are going to start to come in. All right, what else? What other messages? Boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Closing that door. Closing that door for good, I feel like. You're finding your own peace and happiness. Date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Get back out there. Plan. Set a date. See, you have someone new. It could be a water sign. Could be a fire sign. I feel more fire, but it could be water. Could even be earth. It could be anyone, you guys. Mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. That's what this person was doing. When you called them out on their bullshit, it was a trigger. All right? You didn't do anything wrong. It's their own to do with. But you triggered them when you called them out. And they didn't know how to handle it. And they projected it back on you. Acts. Yeah. Breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Yeah. All right. What would this person like to say to you if they could? What would this person like to say to you if they could? I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? That's like a mind game, you know? I feel like I still see your smiling face in my mind's eye. I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. See, you saw them. You called them out. You are my best friend, and I cherished our friendship above all others. See, there was something about a friendship here, too. That's what I'm saying. When this first began, I feel like it was like a dream come true or, or something just easy and turned opposite. You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I now know it's true. So they have that wake-up call, but I don't know if they're ready to change their ways. Anyway, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I'm doing a peek at your person. Love tarot reading. All right. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check out your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay, it is a general reading. Um, Pisces, also stick with me till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement about a 10K giveaway, so stay tuned. All right, I'm going to get into your overall energy, your person's overall energy, their current energies, blockages between the two of you, current feelings about you, potential outcome, obstacles, and advice. So stick around. All right, <laughs> Pisces. Your overall energy is happy, happy, and by the book. I feel like you're trying to do things right. You're not trying to hurt anybody or betrayal or backstab or anything like that. You're trying to do what's right, and you're also trying to do what makes you happy. I feel like there's a new, fresh beginning happening for you, and it's making you kind of feel like alive again. All right? After possibly some time feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, or orphaned, okay? Okay. Your person over here uh, has mending, soulmates, and fork in the road. So I feel like right now things could be a little bit stagnant or your person could be trying to decide, do I move forward? Do I come towards Pisces? Do I move in a different direction? Do I mend this? Do I heal this? Pisces is my soulmate. So I'm kind of stuck. I don't know what to do right now. But I feel like there is a level of both of you feeling left out in the cold. This does have the potential to be very stable, though, but let's dig in and see what's going on. All right. Current energies for Pisces person. Current energies. What is going on? Yeah, somebody walked away. Somebody walked away here. Eight of Cups. Someone could have ran away. Cancer energy with the chariot or drove away. Something to do with a car. 
I feel like it's your person. Keep in mind, Pisces, as I say, your person's energy, it could be yours. So feel free to flip flop and reverse it as you see fit. All right. But I feel like your person walked away. They may have thought that there was another opportunity in a different direction, possibly with a Virgo. Uh, we do have the Knight of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Doesn't have to be a Virgo, but I feel like, or Cancer, I feel like they were trying to be methodical regarding the best move that they can make in stability. But I feel like it was an immature move. It wasn't well thought out. It wasn't well planned. I feel like they're watching you on social media or seeing what you're up to. Hmm. Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, victory, a new beginning. They may want to come clean about something. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could be your energy. They may want to come clean about something and tell you some kind of truth. It could be even just them expressing some sort of love. Ooh, the Empress. Taurus energy. For some of you, there could be a pregnancy somewhere involved here. For some of you or this person, you may have children with them or they may want to have children with you or something along those lines. They may want to confess to you. <laughs> Something to do with children or pregnancy for some of you. For others of you, I feel like they want to approach this in a loving, caring, nurturing energy. Let's see what's blocking this. What's blocking this? Yeah, someone, someone was acting immature when it came to sexual desires or passion. Could be an age difference, doesn't have to be. I feel like there was a painful ending. There may not be communication right now. Communication could be cut off, especially with this Eight of Swords, or I'm sorry, Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, the High Priestess, King of Pentacles. So we have Scorpio Pisces energy and we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Virgo again. You you may have just been fed up, Pisces, and said, screw it. Uh, I'm blocking them on everything. I'm not talking to them anymore. They hurt me way too much, and I'm done. Kind of what's showing up here. You cut off communication with them. Yeah, there was competition, heated arguments, disputes, like very hot argumentative fights here going on. Competition, too many people involved. Mm. How does this person truly feel about you, Pisces? How does this person feel about you? Queen of Wands, Aries energy. They see you as passionate, attractive, fun, flirty, outgoing, adventurous, spontaneous, driven, a born leader. People, people look up to you. People follow you. Yeah, you, they see you as boss energy, Pisces. They hold you in high regard as far as you, how you handle your life. Like, when something needs to be taken care of, you take care of it. You know, like, they see you as very determined and passionate. I feel like either they're acknowledging that, they put you through a burden or caused some kind of a burden, but you handled it like a freaking pro. They may see you moving on from this connection. Yeah, planting seeds. Nah. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, planting seeds. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy in reverse. They feel this may not be the truth. It's their truth. It's their perspective. They feel like you have moved on and brought your passion elsewhere. That you're no longer into them or attracted to them. You're happy. 
you're doing your own thing. They feel like you're over them. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe you're giving to somebody else. They want to mend this. They want to heal this. They feel like this is a protected soulmate bond here. But they don't, they're not seeing things clearly. They're going to come towards you and make some kind of romantic gesture and offer you stability and the Ten of Cups. That's their intention anyway. Let's see, potential outcome. Keep in mind, potential outcome. People can change their minds, free will. All right? So it could change. Look at that, Eight of Wands. They want to talk. Pisces, they want to talk. Yeah, they, they're trying to manifest you. You're their wish fulfillment. They're trying to manifest you. There's They want to reignite that spark, that flame. They want to talk. The Eight of Wands, they, they want to communicate. Because it's making them feel stuck. You got them feeling stuck. Aries energy again. Boss energy. They don't know how. Pisces, Cancer, energy. They may, I feel like they're in their own way. They're blocking themselves or talking themselves out of reaching out to you or. Yeah. They're holding back. They, they, cause they don't know how to handle this with you They're I feel like they're intimidated by you or they just don't know. Like they want to say the right things. Cause again, remember they want to heal this. They want to put this burden down, but they don't know how to approach you or what to do. Yeah, there's a sense of sadness, loss, regret, remorse. That they're This is how they're going to come towards you. They're going to try a romantic twist, maybe like wine and dine you, take you out to dinner, take you out for the night, send you flowers, something like that. That's how they're going to approach this because they want to talk to you. Just be careful. For some of you, there could be some toxic ways or there's temptation here. Definitely some kind of temptation. You might be tempted to take this person back. You're going to have to use your own discernment. Do I feel like they're genuine? They're genuine as far as wanting you back, but I feel like there's some kind of toxic ways. I don't know what they are. It could be drinking, partying, addiction, sex addiction, workaholic, shopping, spending, something. There's something this person... There's, they fall for temptation. I don't know if it's cheating. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Could be definitely drinking or addiction of some sort. So use your own discernment on that. I don't know if that's going to change anytime soon. Because it's still here in the outcome. See, see, you got to be careful if you take that leap of faith with this person. I'm just cautioning you, the potential for you to get hurt again is here. And you've just built up all this happiness. I just, I caution you, Pisces. I really do look at the fool down here. Biggest obstacle to overcome, not being the fool, not giving in to temptation of this person. Yeah, I don't, uh, all right, biggest obstacle Pisces is going to have to face. Biggest obstacle, we'll get into that right after this quick message. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over, I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway, a bunch of goodies are going to be given out and I'm so excited, I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals, 
tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back Obstacles, into your goals. Patience and the creator and courage. Have the strength and courage and confidence. Sorry about my dog. To be patient and wait for the universe, the divine, to deliver what it is that you really need. Pay attention. Go within. Release the need to control. Live moment to moment. I feel like that's what you need to overcome is just kind of being within, with you, with yourself. And having patience for happiness and love to come through and having the strength to to do that and not fall for the temptation all right what other messages for pisces what other messages twin flames yeah eternal love reincarnation passion twin seeking union inner child playful happy enjoy the present moment live to the fullest deception Mask, illusion, duplicity, look beyond the superficial, and free will, choices, decision, contact, and action. Action cannot be forced. Hmm, yeah, deception, twin flame, karmic energy, a lesson. I feel like there's something to learn here. Yeah, date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date, get back out there. Switch it up a bit, you know. Let the let the hold that this person has on you or whatever go. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, and not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation. Call person boundaries. Still angry. I feel like this person stabbed you in the back. And now they want to fix it. But let's see. What would this person like to say to you, Pisces? Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. That definitely sounds like something from this connection here. What else? What else would this person like to say? I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart. And now I don't know how to let you go. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You know the truth about me. Yeah. Yep. Pisces, that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe.